The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex, and more sex are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way. The Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Let's do the podcast tonight on a Friday night. It is the 3rd of May. Welcome to the show. My name is Mo. This is Good Times with Mo, the podcast brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954 if you want to call us. Get yourself on the program. Ask your love problem, life problem, career, sex, whatever it may be. Myself and our really funny celebrity guest tonight is going to try our best to give you the best kind of advice we can. You can also contact us on Skype if you're in the provinces or abroad or if you need some privacy, get on your computer, do it via the Good Times podcast. You can also text us 0927 360 0485. And again, this show being brought to you by Globe as we uh, kick off the weekend. Our guest tonight is a really, really nice guy, really talented, funny. And he took one fucking phrase and he went out and got rich with it. <laughs> he is um, a good, good friend of mine. I haven't spoken to him in quite some time, though. So this is going to be uh, a lot of fun for me as well as you guys because we all know he, how talented he is. Uh, TV shows, radio shows, endorsements. I mean, he's got it all. Please welcome on the program, Mr. Fucking Fu, man. Mr. Fu, how are you? Maraganon. Oh, ikaw na. There it is. <laughs> You're the one. Oh, oh. But di mo sinabi right. na ex mo ko. Echos. <laughs> um, big... <laughs> Aminin mo na ex kita. Ano ka ba? Echos. You, know, you never really showed an interest in me. Uh, well, uh, from time to time, I'll call you Jeffrey because I keep, you know, I, I, I like... Wag na mga B.I.R. ako. <laughs> Sige, fine, fine. Wag na lang, okay, Fu na lang. <laughs> Fu na lang. Uh, Fu, you, you never showed an interest in me. I did. Remember sa CR really? ng TV5? Echos. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I've never, I mean, there are guys out there, like, there are a couple gay guys out there that I'll know, oh. okay, yeah, he kind of seems like he has a thing for him. I never really got that vibe from him. You didn't really like me. I mean, you, Man, you, it, like, it, it seems ex to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ah, as in, ikaw ang peg ko, ganon. <laughs> Ah, okay. Wait, pero congrats, well, thank you. Lang, congratulations muna kasi para akong bibitayin dito sa set nyo. Pero in fairness, maganda, pang mayaman. Tsaka may, may mga mayayaman dito sa harap ko. Hindi ko kayo nakaya. Oh, pero ano, thank you. <laughs> That's right. May mga cool to dito. Always, just, <laughs> you, will, <laughs> you know, speaking of, speaking of guys that you like, you've always struck me as the type who likes the parang Aljur type. You know, quiet, mat, muscular, handsome kind of dudes. Pero ayoko yes? ng kahoy. Ayoko ng kahoy. Gusto ko gumagalaw. Gusto ko gumagalaw. Kasi di Aljur, di parang medyo stiff. Oh. Although dati crush ko yun, nalang sa GMA tayo. It's his personality. Oh. Come on. You know, but that's the, that's the, whether it's his personality or that's what they critique him when he's on movies. He's just very stiff. And oh. then, has he improved in his acting at all? Hindi. Hindi. <laughs> Talaga straight still forward. Awful. <laughs> no, he's, still, he's still awful. Hindi, pero gu- right. guapo, guapo, okay. Extremely uh, good looking. Hot, Actually, we, uh, we, we have... Um, we have this thing on our radio show where we, we put all the hot guys together. It's Sino Pinaka Hot. And we do it based on uh, the network, like mm. what network they're from. So if you want, so yeah, a little bit later on the show, mm. uh, when we have time, because we have a lot of phone calls to do, okay. I want to throw out to you the guys' names. You tell me who's hotter than who. 
Okay. okay. Sige. Hindi naman sinasabi natin pangit kasi lahat sila super guapo. Correct. Yung sino mas type mo. And and so far, <laughs> check out our first round. No, okay. I'll just give you the first round. Okay. First round matchup, GMA, the number two seed, kasi seeding to. Hmm. Number two seed, Richard Gutierrez versus the number eight seed, Raymond Gutierrez. <laughs> sino, mas, sino mas hot para sa'yo. And the thing is, they're both, of course, identical twins. So how can you pick from identical twins at bakit yung isa number two yung isa number eight pwede, why pwede ako magbanyo pwede ako magbanyo bakit naman Richard saka Raymond nakakaloka naman naku kakabati ko well, lang kay Rufo Gutierrez baka magalit sa akin ulit teka lang wait no because why why we're just saying who's hotter kasi number one number one si Ding Dong number one hottest mm. guy in GMA fine mm. number two Richard three Aljur four mm. Danu Matsunaga five Alden Richards mm. six Drew Arliano seven Raymond Gutierrez eight Rocco Nacino that, that that's the top eight for GMA. Sa and galing, ang la, ang laban, one survey? eight. <laughs> My kasama, survey. Ah okay. Kasama talaga si Raymond. Kasama, well, he's lost a lot of weight. E, ito yung uh, first year niya kasama siya. So, so he's lost a lot of weight. Okay. He is an identical twin to Richard Gutierrez. So bakit kasama si Richard pero hindi kasama si Raymond? Give me one reason why he should not be there. Nako, bakit? <laughs> Lagot talaga ako. Teka lang. Pero hindi kasi si Ray... Ito marami nagsasabi ha. Mas guapo daw si Raymond kay Rick Char. See? Si That's Raymond. Right. And oh. a better personality. Better personality oh. by far. Tsaka, by far. Mm-mm. Raymond has a better personality. Oh, friend mo nga pala Easily. yun. <laughs> Oo. Mas, ne, mas no, guapo daw. No, they're both my friends. Mas, mas guapo daw si Raymond kesa kay Rick Char. Lalo na ngayon na he lost weight. Mm. That's what it was. The Tsaka only reason niya. why... The only reason why people would never say anything is because Raymond is fat. Or Raymond was fat. And now that he looks great and he's lost a lot of weight, dapat naman talaga kasama si Raymond dito sa, sa, sa list. But he lost. Richard eventually won because of the machismo factor. But, um, you know, yeah, Raymond is a very good looking guy when he's skinny. Oh, so anyway, so a little bit later, I'll throw out some of the names and you tell me who you like uh, because we have a ton of phone calls here tonight. Again, phone number is 478-7954. Skype is the Good Time Podcast. We have calls Left and right, foo. So let's. And you know what's funny is, we get anal sex calls all the time on the show. I don't think we've never. I don't think we've ever had this amount of anal sex calls on hold. We, we, we probably, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> prepared. Nako, may douche ba kayo dyan? May douche ba kayo dyan? Oh. We, got, we got a ton of anal sex calls tonight for some weird, wild reason. And you've come to the right place. Let's go to Eric first. He's on line one. because uh, Let's try him because he's on a cell phone. Eric, you are 22 years old. Quezon City. Mr. Fu on the show. What's going on, Eric? Hey, Mo. Hey, Mr. Fu. Hi. So I'm Eric. I'm from QC. I just have a problem. What's your problem? Go. All right, so my girlfriend just discovered that I'm gay. So I have a girlfriend for Lovely. three years now. So yeah. she caught me with another guy. On she bed. caught you like, she caught you fucking another guy? That's no, awesome. We're in your house? Done. But you guys were, you were, not, you were naked next to another we're man. We are both naked. Love Love it. It. <laughs> yeah, my house. <laughs> um... You know what's funny is, man, like, I don't ever get, I, I, like, in my personal life, and then, and then food, let me know about yours. Mm. I could never imagine me being, sorry, Eric, stupid enough to be caught in my own room having sex with someone else by either wife or girlfriend. And yet, I'm telling you, food on this show, almost weekly, we get, we get a few of these calls where I, they walked in and I was having sex. My mom walked in, I was having sex. You know, I mean, we have so many of these walked in wild sex. What the fuck? You guys don't close your fucking doors? Well, that's I mean, not. really? When you're lit, when you're naked, with, especially with another man, and no one knows you're gay, you don't lock your door. Well, but they can I lock. forgot it. I forgot to lock it. But the weird thing is, at first she was mad, but now she wants to have threesome. I am gonna. But that's not, not with another girl. But it's gonna be with me and another, another guy and her. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Now, hold on one second. Is your girlfriend generally rather slutty? Like, because that's kind of an odd thing to do to walk in on your boyfriend getting. Well, you weren't getting boned. You were done getting boned, and then he's. She's like, "Oh, I want to jump in." Um, Is no, she kind not of that promiscuous? Slutty. But really, she oh. wants to do it like two times a week. Oh. Look at this. Ama, titi, two times a week lang pala. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so what's more. the question? What's the question? 
So, will I go for the threesome, or what should I feel? Well, uh, I mean, a food. Do you want to start? Uh, sino gusto niya ka-threesome? Yung nahuli. There, yung nahuli. I think if that would happen to him, will he go for it or not? You're, you're, you're the new guy that you're banging? Yeah. Will if, he go for it? Yeah, if I'm well, I'll go for her and the new guy. How is he going to take it? Yeah, if Mr. Fu is on my situation. Oh, okay. Fu's there. All right, Fu. Yeah, let me, I want to ask Fu here because this is kind of interesting and, and you have, you know, I've heard rumors about you, Fu. So oh. how say you on this one? Nako, nakikinabahan ako na sa rumors. But anyway, so gusto ng girl, gusto ng girl kasama yung guy na nahuli ka with. Tama? Tama. Ah, okay. Ang weird. So what was your reaction when you said that? It's sinabi mo kagad the game or he said I love it. No, nagulat ako. Oh, and then what do you want, Eric? Because that, that's what it boils down to. Is what do you? You have an opportunity in your hands. Are you gonna take it? I mean, obviously, you you know you upset your girlfriend. She's over it. She actually finds this very kinky or whatever the fuck. So she's like, okay. I mean, this is I've never had. This is a good experience. And you being bisexual. Um, she might be bisexual too. We don't know. And she's like, okay, this is a nice sexual opportunity for me. Now it's in your hands. What are you going to do about it? What do you want? Well, right now, I prefer the guy than the girl. So I can't imagine doing it. Do you want to at least bang them at the same time and then break up with her? At least my, my experience my young threesome with this kind of situation? Um, right now, no. Parang last hurrah, ganon. <laughs> yeah, no, just one time, big time for the road. She's not breaking up, but I don't want to do it with both of them. Ah, so nandun pa rin yung girl? Nandun pa rin yung girl sa'yo? Girlfriend mo pa rin siya? Yes, she understands the situation right now. She understands the situation and she wants to do it with yes. you and the, another guy. Yes, a guy she now. really, really wants it. Okay, hold on one second. Fu, what's the, what's the gay guy or what's the bisexual threesome look like? Because we know like what the two straight guys, one girl threesome looks like. That's one guy doggy style on the girl, girl blow job on the other end, right, with the guy. So two guys on the book ends while the girl gets, you know, hit from behind doggy and then she blows the guy in the front. When it's two girls, we know the two girls, one guy. We know what the uh, what it looks like. It's probably guy, girl, cowgirl, um, and then the other girl sitting on the face of the guy. So while he gives her oral sex, he's also banging the other girl. So that's generally what we'll see. Mm. What's the uh, two gay guys, one girl threesome? What does that look like? Good on Dan. No, no, no. What? No, because, because it's the same no, because thing. You can't, it's, the same it's not the same thing. thing. What do you mean, like? Para para naman sila may Jun Jun. Oo. So gagamitin nila ang mga Jun Jun nila. Oh. I feel no, I feel like it's going to be different. Two gay guys, one girl? Threesome? Oo. Oh. I'd say mm, pwede, pwede 'yun. Ko ano 'yung ko ano ginagawa ng two straight guys and then a girl. No, but, a, no, but see, the thing is why I don't like this for the two gay guys is the two gay guys are not touching each other. Uh, they're too far from each other. Especially with a guy like this who wants the guy more than the girl. So mm. I'm thinking, the girl is blowing. It's kind of like a, a double Both sixty-nine. <laughs> where, yeah, no, the girl is blowing the guy, and the guy's blowing the other guy. So it's more of a blowjob fest. And there's one guy who's not doing anything. The the one who's getting the least is the girl, because she's just blowing the guy. Does that make sense? Depende, depende. Because if trip talaga ng dalawang bading, pwede naman nilang tirahin yung babae. Kaya naman nila yun. Gawin natin. Joss! Kaya yun. Ay, kaya natin yun. I pwede, feel, no, pwede. I feel like it's the girl at the bottom of the bed blowing gay guy number one while gay guy number one is blowing gay guy number two. That's what I'm picturing in my head for a two gay but guy, one girl. Right threesome. now I was thinking I was fucking her then the other guy Fucks is you. being blown by my girlfriend. But I no, 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 no. Time out. Train. What the fuck am I thinking? How come I didn't think this from the beginning? You're fucking the girl, doggy, while he's fucking you, doggy. And you're in a train. Oh, I fucking love it. Eric, do it. Do it. Now you're not. Do it. 
That, that, that's what a great move. So you're in the back giving it to him in the back while he gives it to her in the back. And you have a train doggy style human centipede. I love it. Hindi ko kinakaya to. Ganito pala talaga dito. Eric, fucking do it. a better idea than what I was thinking. No, no, there's no better idea than that, goddammit. Alam mo mo, ako na lang. Eric, tayong tatlo na lang. Uh, Ipaka po na yung girl. Bigyan mo na ng gift check. Bigyan ng jacket. Tapos tayong tatlo na lang. Eh, Chos. <laughs> Eric, we gotta go, buddy. I say do it if you want it. Um, if you like the guy more, but you know, pursue a relationship with him afterwards. But you know, if she wants to, if she's ready to go, why don't you ask him? If two opinions are better than than yours, uh, than one-on-one, and like if he agrees on it, that's two out of the three. That's 66%. That's, that's score, man. Do it. Yeah. You have to know though that your relationship with your girlfriend is over. You have to. It, it was over the moment you cheated on her, and it's over when she suggested a threesome. You guys need to break up. Obviously, it's not a healthy relationship. Oh, it's going to break. Go na kayo. Oh, tama. Yeah, but fuck her one more. Fuck her one time with the guy. Come on. Okay. Train. Thanks for the time, Owen, Mister Mr. Fu. I thank you. Take pictures. Thanks, buddy. Bye bye. Pictures. Um, I want to see. I want to see my concept come to fruition. I want to see it come up to real life. I would love to see that. Oh, sige, demo natin. Demo natin! <laughs> <laughs> May ganon. Um, on the program tonight is Mr. Fu. He's a very popular uh, TV radio personality and a very interesting man. Very, very smart and, you know, really great career path that he's taken to, to get here, which uh, I know a lot of people know the story about you, Fu, uh, and, and where you started and stuff like that in media. It's, I love telling the story because it always makes me smile. Um, and maybe a little bit later for those who don't, we'll, we'll tell it again. But in the meantime, again, more calls. Let's get to... Let's go another gay guy, just so we can kind of keep that flow going. Um, Dean, you're 26. You're in Cebu. What's going on, Dean? Yes, hi. Good evening. Dean, do me a favor. Uh, speak up a, a, a little bit more. Get closer to your microphone. You sound a little distant, if you, if you don't mind. Oh, sure. How about this? All right, Better? buddy. What's up? Yeah, so, um, yeah, there's this guy <laughs> who's, who's actually in a... Um, long distance relationship with someone and um, flirts and wants to be with you and now that you know the partner is back you know we're doing it behind the partner's back and um, she actually doesn't want to um, choose whether to be with me or with a partner so yeah that's okay so you're, you're cheating on a I'm assuming this is another guy right uh, I, I, you have a guy who has another guy Right. Correct? Okay. Well, hey, you yeah. can do that three something I was saying. Yeah, okay, then continue. Yeah. You want to um, know if you should still date this yeah. guy? I'm sorry? You want to know if you should still see him because he's not breaking up with his boyfriend yet? Is that is that what it is? Yeah, well, actually, I actually know, you know, what to do. You know, I need to, you know, let go because, you know, I'm just the other guy or something. But you know, it's just hard to like move on and just forget if you're if you're under the same roof and you're like workmates and you see you know each other every day. So yeah, that's, you guys live. You know, together. the question would be you know, how to like move on, not you know getting hurt or anything. And does he feel the same way that he wants to move? He wants to get away from you know whatever you both of you, the both of you are doing, and he wants to move on with his life also. Um. That's the problem. He doesn't want to let go. Um, of course, he, he wants gets the, to be he gets with two guys. And, and yeah, yeah of with course. me. So. Yeah, of course, most be, guys would, would, must, would choose that, yes. Yes, it must be, you know, it would be easier if he actually lets go so that, you know, we could, you know, move on or anything. But yeah, he doesn't start the want process. It. He wants, now, you know, now, you live with him? Is that is that what it is? Um, we're in the house with other workmates. So like in the is his boyfriend? With, like is other... his and his boyfriend is in the house also, or no? He's somewhere else. Uh, no, the boyfriend lives in a different place. Okay, fair enough. All right. So how do you start moving on? Fu, can you can you can you break up with someone? Quote unquote break up since they're not real relationship. Can you break up with someone and still live with them? I mean, working with them is already difficult. When we're still having to live with the guy. Hindi na dapat kasi proximity, 'di ba? So pag nag-break up, dapat kasama pati work, pati bahay, 'di ba? Para talaga you mean maka- resigning kung, kung kailangan, 
'di ba? Kasi kasi naman sa hindi ka makakapag-move on, lagi mo nakikita, lagi mo nadadaanan, 'di ba? So I suggest look for another career, another office, 'di ba? It's either siya o ikaw ang umalis. Kung hindi ka kung hindi mo yeah. kaya, kung hindi mo kaya, pero kung kaya mo makita siya, I mean kung office setup lang, it's okay. Pero kung bahay, yeah. that's weird. Yeah, oh, I, I agree. Pwede. I think the house thing is going to make it a little bit more difficult, Dean. But if you have no choice and you have to work there and you still have to live there, I want you to remind yourself the, 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 the genesis of this whole relationship, which is it was scandalous from the beginning. You were not – you, you, you don't deserve – well, this is not what I'm going to say is not true, but I want you to sell it to yourself like it's true. You don't deserve to be heartbroken, Dean, because he was not your boyfriend. He was someone else's boyfriend. You came in, you kind of created this scandal with him, and now you kind of have to suffer with it and its consequences. So, so that, that's, that's what's difficult about these, um, these cheating situations here is someone's always bound to get hurt. It's guaranteed. It's rare that you can come into a, a relationship with one person cheating on another and everybody, all three of them leave happy. It's very, very rare. So you kind of have to sell to yourself, listen, this is of, co- of course this is what's supposed to happen because it was a scandalous relationship to begin with. This is what we deserve. So if he doesn't want to let you go, so what? That's his problem. He has a boyfriend. If you feel hurt because you see him every day and he hit up and goes to work, it's a bahai, well, you know what? This is what you created for yourself. And you just have to step up, face the fact that it's, it's a fucked up because you fucked it up, the both of you, and deal with it like that. You know, right. it's, it's not a romantic, ideal situation, and then you break up and you want to hold on to that person. No, you guys started scandalously. You will end scandalously. That's what's hard about cheating. And that's what you have to remind yourself every time you see him in the morning. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it's like easier. It's you know, it's easier to to think about it, but it's really hard to do it. But yeah, I'll I'll go ahead and think about it. Yeah, I mean, it is only because you if you cannot move out. But like Fu said, it would be great if you have the opportunity to go move somewhere else or work somewhere else. Then take that opportunity if it's bothering you. But if it's but if you can't, I mean, I, I mean, you're in Cebu. I don't know if the job that you have is is readily available somewhere else. But if it's not, you just have to kind of remind yourself, well, you know what? This is it. It's like when you play with knives or if you're one of those fucking, you know those girls in the beaches with the fire sticks, they're throwing it in the air. For for them to not think that they're going to get burned one day is crazy. I mean, accidents are going to happen. This was a relationship accident and you have to deal with it. Whatever hurt comes along with it. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Parang hindi niya kaya. Parang hindi niya kaya. Parang yeah. wala siya sabi. <laughs> kaya yeah. mo yung girl. Right, oh, Listen, kaya mo yung girl. Yeah, you fucked up. Yeah, and this is, what, this is what happens when you fuck up. That's, that's basically what it comes down to. Got to deal with it. Got to deal with it. All right. Got to deal with it. All right. All right. You got to remind me. It's like committing right. a crime, too. It's like committing a crime and getting caught. You go to jail. You're going to have to just deal with it. The reason why you're there is because you guys fucked up. Um, Bago ka mahuli, do... gawan mo na ng paraan. Bago ka mahuli, di ba? O katulad doon, di pa sila nahuhuli. Di gawan na niya ng paraan kasi maintayin niya na chap-chapin siya nung jowa, nung ano, di ba? Nung boylet niya. <laughs> oh, okay na yun. Right. Gawin, mo na, gawin mo na ngayon na. Agad-agad. That's right. Um, uh, one more call. We gotta take a break. Uh, let's talk to Carl. Carl, you're 18 years old. You are in Las Piñas, online too. Uh, what's going on, Carl? Thanks for being here. A lot of teenagers have been calling this show this week, uh, th- to be honest. It's actually kind of cool because... Um, I don't know. They, they, they've always got really wild questions. Carl, 18, line two. What's up? Carl? Did we lose Carl? He's been on hold for a really long time. I think we lost. We'll, we'll get him back. Let's try line four and talk to Casey, who is 21 years old in Paranaque. Hi, Hi. Casey. What's up, baby? Hi, hello. Good evening. Hi. This is Mr. Fu. Uh, hi, Mr. Fu. Hi, Casey. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is a big um, like transition from the gay topics, and then we're going to move to a serious kind of love problem. <laughs> Would sure, that be go. fine? Go. That's fine. Okay. Um, problem is, I would like to ask you guys, what is the concept of being clingy? Like, when do you draw limits? Um, like, when do you say that you're becoming a possessive girlfriend? What are the questions and what are the things that you can ask your boyfriend and you cannot ask your boyfriend? Because men... Is your boyfriend say, complaining? Sorry? Is your boyfriend, curr- is your boyfriend currently complaining that you're too clingy? Yeah, I 
know, but if you trace his history with his past relationship, he's the one. He admitted that he's the one who was clingy. Now he's totally moved on, and, you know, he's a complete new man, so he wants to change everything. And now I'm suffering because um, he doesn't okay, want me to... Okay, what's the number be- one... Okay. And what was, yeah. Give me one example. Yeah, give me one example of that he's complaining about that you did, and I, I'll tell you if that's clean. Oh my god, this is really petty. This just happened like three days ago. Um, we Fantastic. were on the phone, and then he slept on the phone, and then I was worried because we were we were talking about the particular topic, and then the line got off, and then accidentally I saw my Facebook news feed, and then he has his post like he liked a particular. Um, post and he commented on it so I assume that he's still online so I was like worried why the heck will he um, hung up without saying goodbye or whatever so I borrowed my mom's phone and I called him like um, five times and then he suddenly woke up and he told me why are you being clingy again why are you calling me you're calling me just to ask me if I hung up and then I told him no I thought you hung up on me on purpose and then you just wanted to end the conversation like that and then he accused me of becoming clingy again, despite... Okay, well, see, he, okay, okay. You know what? I, I don't think that was clingy. I think it's appropriate. However, you used your mom's phone, which makes it oh, clingy. Because I don't have, <laughs> um, apparently, that night, I didn't have much uh, credit to call him. Ah, okay, well, then that's a good excuse. I, I mean, if he was on the phone with you, and he fell asleep, and then fucking 10 to 15 minutes later, you see him commenting on a, on a exactly. Facebook thing... Then you call him and you're like, yeah, because it's rude. Yeah, exactly. It's not necessarily exactly. clingy to, to, to call him back. Mm-hmm. Calling, okay, calling him five times, though, <laughs> is a little much. Because and I using your mom's off. cell phone is a little much. I'm much. sorry. I know you were pissed off, but it, it doesn't, well, yeah, we had, a, remember we had a kid the other day call, say that, you know, his girlfriend called him 181 times <laughs> in the morning while he was asleep. And then we said, okay, he, she's fucking nuts. So, <laughs> Uh, five, f- calling five times is a little clingy. Th- uh-huh. Just a tad bit clingy. You uh-huh. could have called once or twice, and then if he didn't answer, you just say, fuck it. Just talk to him tomorrow about it. All right. But he, he was indeed rude. It is indeed rude to be on the phone with someone, fall asleep, and then start being online, you know, 10 minutes later or posting uh-huh. on Facebook. It, it's a little douchebag of him to uh-huh. do something like exactly. that. And you're, I think you're in the right, you're in the right to call. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just that situation. There might be other things that the both of you guys do that a lot, in actually. fact make it clingy. Um, Pero yung five times, I'm sure gusto mo na siyang awayin. Diba? Exactly. <laughs> I'm sure. Kaya mo siya talaga gusto, wanna, gusto mo siyang awayin. I just want to ask him straightforward, why are you, why did you hang up on me? Because I'm, I'm the type of girl who doesn't really um, get mad. I was, I was thinking thoroughly if I should tell him that I'm mad or if I'm upset because, you know, he might take it against me because... Mm-hmm. The very time that he told me that I'm clingy, starting from that day, I was very conscious about my actions. That's a problem because, you know, you don't really understand what he wants in a relationship. So um, I was very conscious about what I should do, what, what I should ask him, and then so that he won't get mad at me and accuse me of becoming clingy again. So I'm becoming paranoid in this relationship. And I'm do you have, to avoid okay, that. okay. He, a clingy, a clingy girlfriend generally has the password or the yes. pin code of the phone. I don't, phone. I don't ask for it. I don't, ha- I don't ask okay, for his good. password. And a I don't clingy girlfriend like wants to be on the phone with the boyfriend at nighttime till they fall asleep, and even maybe even put it on speakerphone, kung may unli dialing, and <laughs> sleep at the same time. You, you know, yeah, there are those globe, little things like that. that yeah, he's on globe line, or, so he calls me every night. Yeah, fallen. and then you guys are on a hold while sleeping. You know, it, it, you, you don't get what I mean. On speakerphone, yeah, yeah. those That's kind of cheesy, things. Huh? That kind of behavior is rather clingy behavior. Um, Gano katagal na ba kayo, you, Gano katagal One na si- year. One year na. Oh. Hindi nyo pa rin nat- natatansya yung isa't isa? Hindi nyo pa rin natitimpla? It, it, that's actually my problem because you know it, you it there is a, I don't know where to draw the line like what what can I ask like oh, where can we ha- where can we have dinner where can we do this where can we do that you know because he might no think, you oh, can ask that's not clingy mm. clingy is just like needing him to be a part of everything that you do or everything that he does you need to be there as well like oh. any activity that he gets involved in you want to be there and then you hide behind oh but I just want to support you and I want to see you I'm watching, <laughs> no you need to give him a little bit of me time uh huh but the problem is 
he's like that to me. Like if I go, if I if I tell him, oh, I'm going here, and why are you going there? Who are you with? I want to come with you. Okay, I'll come with you yeah, there. You, okay, this is an unhealthy relationship, uh, Casey, and it really is. If you want to save it, you have to tell him, no, I want to go alone. And you have to give him his chance to go alone and to do things alone as well. Okay? Uh-huh. It really, if you want it that way. If not, you guys are going to be fighting constantly. Constantly. He, he, he accepts me for who I am sometimes if he needs something, you know, what he needs, you know. He's sweet. He's the one who's clingy. He's the one who's very caring and stuff like that. No, but clingy is nice at times. I mean, clingy is, it, it makes you feel like really wanted and stuff like and that. Long, and then when right? you're past. Yeah, but like, it's like, you know, jealousy is also kind of nice. Like, yeah, oh, my awesome. girlfriend's jealous. Or my, yeah. It's fun. It's great. But yeah. when you start doing it in excess, it goes from great to fucking suffocating uh-huh. very, very fast. Okay, lang so cute, make cute lang. sure. Yeah, make sure it's at a cute level of clinging, a cute level of oh, jealousy, and not of, into that suffocating mode. Because suffocation can make you hurt another person. Like, it can make you not hurt. Really? I hate another person uh-huh. right away. Uh-huh. But, and oh. once, once they hate you, it's very difficult to change that. Uh, yeah, but the problem is, I think I'm just, you know, experiencing the effects of the, his troubles with his ex-girlfriend because he told me before that he was the one who's clingy and then his ex-girlfriend no, got pissed off. And so yeah, no, no, no. I, I, no, I, I think that you guys are this way. I think the both of you are this way. I think, you know, you've just attracted someone very much like you. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you continue with the manners, you're going you're gonna to really, you're going to fight forever. I mean, trust me, it's going to fight. You guys are going to fight for a fucking long time. Ah, uh, The clingy so, thing, yeah. Uh, the, wala katakusan yan. So is yeah, this is, him, it's a like, vicious cycle. What What are the things that I can ask and cannot ask so that we draw the it's, line? It's hard to um, say. It's hard to say because we don't know what you're asking most of the time. Mm-hmm. Like that's why I said give me an example of something that he did or that you did that was classified as clingy and I'll tell you if it's clingy or not. But um, I can't like say what are the, some of the things you can ask mm-hmm. and not because who well, knows what you're involved in and what you want. It's too long of a list. Um, like for example, like now he's out. He didn't tell me where he is right now. Like I just, I just came from the gym, and then he told me he's not at home. So I asked him where, you, where you are. He said he's with his friends. I am asking where, but he told me he's with his friends. I'm assuming he's gonna go for another poker night with the boys, and then, so you know, I really don't know how to yeah, control him. Uh, that's ugh, fool. If if the girlfriend asks the boyfriend, where are you? And the answer is, I'm with my friends. That's not an acceptable answer, right? Okay, oh. exactly. Kailangan your exact location. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. And, and if you want to know where exactly, that's not clingy. That's <laughs> just <laughs> girlfriend. Yeah. I know. So I'm, I'm trying to defend myself. Like, I'm, I kept telling him that, you know, I had troubles with attention. And then now I'm trying to um, give it give you the attention that you need because he told me before with his ex-girlfriend that his ex-girlfriend didn't have time for him that's why he became clingy now I'm giving him the attention that he needs now what happens is he's accusing me of being clingy so what do you want I mean I've been asking him what do you want he keeps telling me I don't know I'm not sure Casey Casey I, I think you guys are in decline already and that's fine because not all relationships work out. I'm sure Fu knows that. I'll, I'll tell you that that's fucking true as well. Uh-huh. Um, but but at the same time, if you want, just so you start going out as well. You start giving the same answers, and maybe it might right itself. It might fix itself. You're like, okay, well, see, you want to know where I'm at. I wanted to know where you were at the other night with the boys. Now you want to know where I'm at. I mean, what are it? It'll help you start the discussion of what's acceptable and what's not. If you want to know then I want to know. If you don't want to know, I won't bother you, but you cannot bother me as well. You start putting down kind of guidelines of what's expected and not expected just uh-huh. to you know, remove this whole issue of clinginess. And if it continues to deteriorate, you'll probably be broken up in a few months. It's a problem, yeah, because sometimes he... he, he um, the times that he accuses me, accuses me of being clingy actually varies. Like if he's in the mood, if he's not in the mood. For- right, right, right. Well, again, that's because you guys are irritated already at each other. By the way, speaking of clingy, this phone call is gone 10 minutes already, so we got to go. But um, I'm sorry. again, I I'm think really clingy, have, the discussion, <laughs> yeah, have the discussion with him, see it works out. And do, you know, in, in the end, do what he's doing. If he's not telling you where he's at, he should tell you where he's at, by the way, if you ask. Again, it's rude for him to not do so. But do the same thing and see where this relationship goes, okay? 
All right. Thanks, love. Thank Appreciate it. Good luck with that. Taking a break. When we come back, more with Mr. Fu and our callers. It's Good Times to Know the Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but, you know, I thought it was... <laughs> I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically. <laughs> now, number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and Slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> lock all doors of vehicles during inspection. Since lock. Oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you. And this is actually. I know we're making fun of it a little bit. Yeah. This is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs are planted. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, and, and other things. Stories. You know. Um, mm-hmm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. Well, just there's Bieber really no defense. The yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I <laughs> throw, throw the book at him. The then CD as well. You, to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne- next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Deacon God. and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here. On the factory. Take a little sunshine, grab a little rainbow, mix in a smile, stay for a while. Sabrina's kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's kitchen, always something new. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this, Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. 
Sprint. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped a compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet five-year warranty, three-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. A splash of colour can go a long way to brighten your world. Choose your colour and choose your adventure at the Make Your Own Havianas 2013 event. Select from the newly launched rainbow colour lineup of Havianas and match them up with a whimsical inspired pins to turn your fantasy into reality. Come on over to the Rockwell Tent on May 2nd to the 5th. Take part in the biggest annual summer flip flops customization event in the Philippines. Imagine where your creativity can take you. Make your own Havianas. Hi everybody, I'm Bianca Valerio. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20. <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20. Exactly, so find out every Sunday night, 8 9. <clears throat> Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, yes. boys. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here on this Friday night with Mr. Fu. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times podcast. And uh, you can text us at 0927-360-0485. Again, our guest is uh, Ms. Fu. You can find him on his TV show, Ang Latest, which is... What is that, Fu? Nightly on TV5? Yes, 11.30 in the evening. Nightly, Monday to Saturday. TV5. Wow, that nightly. So, well, guy, I was thinking weeknights. Boy, you do six out of seven nights. That's That's... That's a lot of work. Oh, oh tsaka, um, wow, wow, that's good money. Showbiz. Ah, ano yun? <laughs> that's good money. Okay no? lang. Okay lang. <laughs> oh, okay. okay All lang. right. And you, you're you also, of course, on the, the morning show, radio yes. show. Uh, 103.5. Uh, wow FM. Wow. Yes. And and you still say mega non. And you, you, do you have any other new phrases that, that people all go crazy about? Meron. Pero hindi siya talaga ka-level ng mega non. Yung mega non talaga, ewan ko. Tsaka pinapatent yeah. ko yun. So, <laughs> if the rest, it, I cannot it, claim, it I cannot claim that it's mine. For example, I remember saying ikaw na pero bigla ko na lang nalaman it's ano boy abundas ng tag. So may mga ganun na or sabe, yung mga ganun pero yung mega noon lang yeah. talaga yung I can claim na Completely I started yours. out. I started it, ganun ganun. And speaking of starting, you started out as a news correspondent or something like that. I mean like for murder and and like Yes, a police uh, reporter. I was a police reporter shit. for 7 years, would you believe? So and, and, and please, can you take us back to what police reporting sounds like when you were doing it? <laughs> Come on, Foo. Let me just hear what <laughs> you should have. Foo, the yes, yes, police report. Where was Nanito del Mayor? The Lord Kutai, Sang Bala. You know, uh, 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 let me. Uh, let me hear it. Kasi ano, sa Philippines, di ba, alam naman natin kapag uh, reporting, kailangan exage. Lagi may emergency. Yes. Parang, dalawa that's patay! Right. Dapat ganon. So that's what you did. Dalawa patay! Sa sunog na naganap sa Quezon City. Dapat ganon. Tsaka may humihinga. And, and... <laughs> Tsaka yung parang kahit, kahit may dumaan lang bubuit, ganon, big deal na. Oo, kasi yun ang training natin sa Pilipinas. Unlike sa CNN or sa BBC, lahat sila kalmado. Di ba? Sampu right. libo na ang patay, even. pero... 10, it's, it's, dead, it's also like that on TV hosting, though. Um, ah, oh, food, oh, like, for example, you, uh, you're, say you're doing ASAP or uh, Party Pilipinas, tapos introduce mo yung uh, next performer, Correct. kailangan sumigaw, diba? It's like, here he is now! Ding dong, dang, dang! Tama! You, do you, would you ever see Ryan Seacrest do that on Idol? 
It, 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 of course not. The secret recipe would be, please welcome Jessica Sanchez. Uh-oh. And then boom, she sings. But it's supposed to be. Kahit sa ano man, diba? For example, Ellen, De- Ellen DeGeneres, diba sa show niya, para goodbye siya, goodbye, yeah. bye. Sa atin, diba? Ang dami sponsors. Yeah. Ang dami mga... <laughs> Tsaka kailangan lumalabas yung lated mo dito sa leeg. Nakikita rito yung ugat. Ganon dapat. Pag nag-host ka. And they're, they're just talking. It's, mm. it's, it's crazy. I, I never understood that hosting style. I, I, I hate it. I, I, in fact, I just, I honestly hate it. But, but okay, well, back to the thing though. Uh, say police uh, reporting, right? I remember, I, I was very close at one time with Teddy Boy Loxin. Mm. And Teddy Boy owns a newspaper, or yes. at least he used to own a newspaper. I'm not sure. Uh, what, what paper does he own? Is it Middle of the Times or... Uh, so he owns something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and he used to tell me that when they get to the scene of a murder scene, mm-hmm. for example, the police guys, they've already pulled the body out and it's inside whatever sasakyan or van yes, or whatever. Yes, it's yes. going to go away. He comes and says, wait, 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 wait. Put it back. We need to take pictures for the newspaper. I the ako police yan. would come out and put it back and then you take pictures of it as if it just happened and then they put the body back inside the goddamn car. Ginawa ginawa Is that real? Ako. Yes, that's real. I remember sa tondo na late ako. Tapos, pagdating ko doon, nakalagay na sa van, nakuha na na lahat ng stasyon. Hindi ako makakapayag kasi pagagalitan ka ng editor mo kapag ang kuha ng ibang TV station ay eh, nasa site pa, and then ang kuha mo ay eh, nasa loob na ng van o nakabalot na. So, ano ang ginawa ko? Ay, kuya, ibaba mo ang patay. At binuksan ko talaga. <laughs> Inalis ko yung balot. <laughs> Inalis ko yung balot. O, kuya, roll! Go! Ganon. Kasi kailangan talaga makita siya on site. But the police, the police are, but just imagine that kind of behavior. Like, ima- okay, imagine Ay, oh, like you're watching in, in another country, a CSI yes, or yes, some sort of police yes. thriller. Uh, Captain, I need you to pull the bounty on the floor. Why? Uh, uh, Foo here needs to take a picture. Uh, oh, putang yan, alabas mo na yung pangyayos. Tsaka tayo, di ba, sa, sa Philippines, hindi natin masyado wild. nire-respeto o nire-respect yung yellow line, yung yung cordon. Hindi, Caution alam mo kami, something. nasa loob kami. <laughs> Pumapasok kami doon sa ilalim ng gano'n. Tapos, yung patay, <laughs> alam mo ba, unang-una kong patay, I remember, sa Ayala Bridge, may hold up, pero pinatay sa, sa jeep. So, bunta kami doon sa patay. So, yung mga joke ng mga senior reporters doon, alika rito, bago ka, diba? Akin yung daliri mo, dut-dut mo doon sa bala, doon sa, sa butas nung ano. Tapos, ginagano talaga nila sa ano ko, daliri ko yung ano. Oh my god. Sabi ko, pero hindi ka naman na dut-dut, no? Pero sabi ko talaga, isa ka lang sa mga patay na makikita ko gabi-gabi. And, Ang, ang nakakatawa dyan, for example, kasi my schedule was 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Pag oh, mga gosh. 3 a.m., wala ka pang storya, ay, kailangan mong pumatay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alam mo talagang, walang patay, ganyan. Kasi kailangan mong umuwi with a story or else you're dead. And dapat yung yeah, story so... mo is something that really interesting. And we call it SS. Tatawag ka sa editor mo, sasabihin niya, yan yung story mo? Opo. SSN mo. Ang ibig sabihin ng SS wow. ay salsal. Wow. So, so ibig sabihin, you have a, you have to look for a good angle for that story. Kaya minsan, na e yung report. Kasi syempre ikaw, gusto mo ma-please yung editor mo and you you want to have a good story on air. Kaya tuloy, gagawin mo ng, ng ibang ano. Halimbawa, yung My Way. Minsan, invento na lang yun eh. Na kaya siya pinatay dahil kumanta siya ng My Way. Kung tutuusin, baka binatay lang talaga siya dahil may atraso siya. Pero ang last song right. niya, his last song was probably My Way, but not because naasar <laughs> sa kanya dahil kumata siya ng My Way. Pero dahil mas maganda pakinggan na pinatay siya because he sang the, the song My Way, mas, mas ano yun. Kasi syempre sa araw-araw na pinapatay, ano laging story, uh, uh, inagawa ng right, isawa. Right. You have to find, you have to an, find an exciting a nice motive Oo, kaya, or something like ay, that. Sabi That's kasi, awesome. Uh, 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 ang dami ko na nagawa. Ako pa nga ganito eh. Binahuli siya ng Tuesday. Sa Thursday na. Wala kang story. So nakita mo sa blotter, uy, may shoplifting, bra at panty, ganyan. Oh. Nandiyan pa po, po ba yung bra at panty? <laughs> Sabihin ko, ah, andito pa po. Nasaan po yung suspect? Nakakulong. Labas po natin, tapos kunwari kakahuli lang. <laughs> Putang ina talaga. I do, I, kaya tawag tapos, taw- taw- tapos yung suspect, the, Ay, wait, the, the suspect plays, the, he plays along with it. Ay, hindi. Dead ba lang siya? Kasi kakagising lang dyan. Kikigisingin ko. Kuya, labas. So, lalabas siya. Tapos, 
Ang ang ek, ang intro diyan. Naabutan ng RPN News uh, ang pagkakadakip dito kay sa Matala Tuesday pa sa nahuli. Oh. At tawag sa sabi ko sa mga polis, kuya, huwag okay, ibigay sa ibang station kasi pag binigay niyo sa ibang station, maka malaman na luma. So sabi ko, huwag niyo na ibigay. O ako na bahala sa pandesal ninyo. Oh. So wag pandesal. Tapos minsan para magandang story mo. Ito pa, may ginawa ako. Ano, um, parang basta hindi naman rape, pero parang ano lang, basta sexual abuse or something, parang ganyan. Ang Which bakit, is rape, sure. Hindi naman, no, 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 parang ano ba, ta- chancing, parang ganyan. O, so, nakaupo right, sa yes. Tapos, ayaw na ayaw ng editor namin na, we call it pinaupong manok. Ibig sabihin, there's no action. So, ang gagawin ko, kailangan may away. So, ang gagawin ko, bubulungan ko yung victim. Sapokin mo. Kung wala ko, nako, sapukin wow. mo yan, te. Ganyan. Tapos titingin na ako sa cameraman ko, tapos magnanod na ako. Kuya, roll. Tapos tatayo na yan. Ha, sapukin niya. Minsan, abutan ko pa na walis. Pak, pak, pak. Ganun ang video ko. Ganun, ah. Uh. So, yun. Tapos, tapos nare-realize ko na mali na itong ginagawa ng buhay ko. Kailangan na i-pack up to. Sabi ko, ganun. Ganun na. Oo, uh, sabi ko. Tsaka, maliit na naman ang sweldo ko rito. <laughs> sabi ko, stop this. So, parang, kasi, lo, gabi-gabi na nanaginip ako. Kung sino mga characters sa panaginip ko. Hindi ko alam kung sino-sino. There was even this time na wala pa akong kotse nito. Meron akong, is- kasi galit ako sa mga hold-up. Pero kung huwag naman tayo ma-hold-up, no? <laughs> Pinapabugbog yeah, yeah. ko talaga sila. Sa mga, sa, sa mga victims. That was my next question. Is mm. that true? I mean, we see it all the time on TV. So um, uh, maybe my question is stupid. Na, is that true? But is it as frequent as as it is on television? Na talaga, pag nahuli ka, bug-bug ng mga polis, bug-bug ng mga barangay, everybody pinabug-bug uh-uh. talaga yung... yung, it, yung, yung the uh, bug-bug factor is usually naman yung victims ang bumubugbog. Hindi naman lagi yung polis o yung barangay tanod. Kasi syempre, pag nahuli yan, kukuyugin na yan eh. And then, pagdating sa presinto, dapat tapos na. E eh, bilang mga reporters kami na kailangan namin makita ang action, so bubulungan namin yung mga victims. So, upakan nyo. Upakan nyo. Ako lagi ko sinasabi, wag sa muka. Kasi delikado pag muka eh. Sabi ko, kuupakan nyo sa katawan. O, oh, yun lang. Ganun yung instruction namin. Pero a punch to the face makes good news. Like, that's a great clip to get a punch in the face. O, eh, kaso baka mamatay on the spot. O, oh, ano na, mag-guilt oh, then, na yun. Sure <laughs> then, then you have a great story. Then you have even uh-huh. a better story. So okay, okay. Last question, just so we can go to so some of these calls. Okay, this is this always intrigues me. What truly is the worst neighborhood in Manila? Like, tang inang, just fucking violent, awful, badass talaga. Wala naman ako nakita ng ganon. Napansin ko lang talaga sa Manila, sa Tondo, halimbawa. Ang 10 a.m. do, ang 10 p.m. doon, parang 7 p.m. ganyan. Or kaya ang 2 a.m. doon, parang 7 p.m. lang. Tsaka talagang pabrika ng mga bata, ganon. Pero hindi ko, hindi ko sinasabi na violent doon. It's just that yung nangyayari sa Tondo, it can also happen in Caloocan, it can happen in Quezon City. It's just that... But the reputation of Tondo is well-deserved. Hi, ah, hindi naman. Hindi naman porque tondo eh walang hiya o tarantado. Hindi naman. It's just that talaga lang maraming tao doon. Tsaka talagang ang oras sa kanila hindi binibilang. O talagang wala silang call time, wala silang pack up time. <laughs> Lagi sila right, nandun. Right. So, walang curfew. Oo, okay. walang curfew, walang ano. Pero yung, yung, yung crimes na nangyayari sa tondo, nangyayari din sa Quezon City, sa Las Piñas, sa Paranaque. Sure. So, wala naman ako nakita na itong location na to Ito na naman, dyan na naman. Hindi naman, wala naman ako nakita okay. ganun location. Oh, I love your stories. Fu, I, I always ask you about this, even when we're off air, sitting uh-uh. down. Fu, tell me some more police, because I, I love the the uh-uh. backstory, what behind the scenes. Correct. It's so much better than the shit that you see in front, because of all of the things that the reporter does to uh-uh. make sure the story is good. And and again, I remember when Teddy Boy said this the first time to me, I was shocked. I was like, what? You guys do this? And now every every time I meet a reporter who does like that, police reporting, uh-huh. any kind of front page stuff, I always ask them, what are some of the stuff that happens behind the scenes that you guys do to manipulate the story, uh-huh. to make it look more exciting and scandalous that's like, and action? That's a good training ground. Kaya yung mga yung mga balakan yung reporters ngayon, yung mga Congress reporters, they started as police reporters. Kasi as police reporter, walang nag-feed sa'yo ng story. You make your story. You look for your story. Un- unlike sa malakan yang, you just sit down, antayin mo yung presidente, antayin mo si press secretary, and then they'll give you the press release, they'll give you interview, they'll grant you interviews. So, ganun lang kadali. Sa police, lalo na, kasi nag-aabang ka talaga. Tatawag ka sa mga pol- sa police station, uh, sir, 
Ah, uh, story natin. Ah, hindi may aksidente dito sa may ano, Marcelino, tumaob ng sasakyan. Sir, may patay ba? Ah, uh, wala eh. Um, tumaob ba yung sasakyan? Ano yung sasakyan? Wasak ba? Ganun yung mga gusto mo. Kasi gusto mo visual skin. So gusto mo maki- <laughs> Ay, inahanap so, pa. Patay ba? Patay ba? Ganun. Yeah, wala nang ulo, wala nang ulo. Ay, gusto na. Sa, asan, yung, na, 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 na. asan yung ulo, sir? Dati na uso yung chop chop lady, naabutan ko yun. So, oh, of course. Hinahanap namin yung body parts. Why not? Nakita namin ang ulo. Nakita namin ang paa, ang pige. Yung mga ganyan. Oh, oh how sad. Uh-oh. All right. Thanks, Fu. This is, this is all good stuff. Man, we could do a whole episode just on police reporting uh, like the, the behind the scenes. Thanks. This is all great stuff. All right. We got to get the call before we take it because we have the time. We need to take a commercial break already, but we didn't take one call here. So let's take one and then break. Para naman yung mga callers hindi naman gagalit. Let's go to... Um, who do we have here? Is this... Uh, Ivy. Ivy, you're 27 in Makati. Hi, Ivy. Yes. Hi. What's up, baby? Hi, how are you? This is Mr. Fu. Hi, Police Ivy. reporter extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah. How can we help you? Hey, Papa, yeah, ka ba? Hey, Papa, ka ba? I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, what's your question? Well, Ivy. I have a question. Um, yeah. Paano mo ba sa say na faithful ka sa isang relationship when parang mayroon kang uh, friends. I think friends with benefits. So, please. Ivy, I have no idea what you're talking about. This is a poorly told story. Uh, you have a, what, a boyfriend? Yeah, um, Who? Um, yes. Um, we're both committed. Yung, yung ako sa so yung friend ko. Then, oh, so you have a, you have a fubu. You have a f- three. Yes. And a boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> Oh, okay, all right. Say it with confidence, love. I mean, shit. That's a that's a very that's a very daring thing to have. So you you sound like you've never even had sex in your life, but you have, in fact a fuck buddy and a boyfriend. So okay, you're you're all right. Matapang ka. Let's 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 hear it. Oh, bigyan kita ng award. Sa yun nato. No. Yeah. And then, so what's the question? Parang pinang problema. Pinang problema ng host is parang yung parang faithfulness ko. Parang kung paano ko siya ma. You want uh-huh. you want to be loyal? Yes. Yeah. Maging loyal. Turn. Yeah. Oh God, I can't understand a word you're saying, but it seems like the story is nice. Fu, do some of that police magic here. It's, it's a, she's <laughs> telling a, it's a great story, but she's fucking boring when she said, I, I think what she's saying is, <laughs> parang, sinasabi niya, may chinochorva siyang iba, na parang friend yes. sa office, they're having sex, pero friends lang sila, friends with benefits. And then, meron mm-hmm. siyang boyfriend. Pero gusto niya maging loyal. So, kailangan mo lang i-pack up si, ano, si friend na kachorva mo. Hindi mo ba kaya? Yeah, but, but I, 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 now Ivy, do you always do this to even past boyfriends? You cheat on boyfriends regularly? No, first time. First time. And you want to you wanna stop it? Yep. Bakit okay. di mo stop? stop it. Just stop it, yeah. Well, what's the problem? Or break up with your boyfriend. <laughs> you, you have to do one of the other, one or two things here. If you want to be a better girlfriend, whether it be to this boyfriend of yours or to future boyfriends, you have to stop behaving this way because this is wrong. I mean, it, it is what we call against the norm. You can't have a boyfriend and fuck another guy at the same time. That's just the way it is, Ivy. Pero may may jowa din yung ano mo, diba? Friend mo? Committed din? Yeah, you're, yeah, that's true. Your fuck buddy has a girlfriend also. Okay, but, but you know, that's not your problem. Your problem is right now is you. Is how you need to stop banging this guy or you need to break up with your boyfriend. That's the only thing that's available to you if you want to improve yourself. Because that means you're going to be doing the right thing. You're not going to be breaking someone's heart, your boyfriend, or you're not going to be breaking someone's heart, the other guy's girlfriend. You get what I mean? You are the reason someone is going to get hurt. And more than one person. If the girlfriend finds out about you, she's going to get hurt. If your boyfriend finds about, finds out about you, he's going to get hurt. You're in fact hurting two people right now. And you have not been caught yet. And you will get caught. And it makes you a bad person. Ivy. Mm -hmm. You have a shitty personality to go with it. Sorry. Okay. All right. So Ivy, stop fucking this guy or break up with your boyfriend. 
Actually, if you break up with your boyfriend and you continue fucking this guy, you're still hurting somebody. Yes. The other guy's girlfriend. Hanap ko na lang iba sa office. Yeah, break up with your boyfriend and fuck a single guy. Dude, big break up with your boyfriend and fuck every single guy you meet. I'd still like you better. Pokpok lang ang peg. Oh. <laughs> Yun lang, pero okay lang. Okay lang po. <laughs> Ate single. Ate single, di ba? Wala ka na yeah, sasaktan. Listen, oh. That's right. Go girl lang habang ang happy. hair mo. Oh, oh, oh. Si- sino, okay, mas, sino mas mahal mo? Sino mas mahal mo? Boyfriend o si, ano, friend? Si boyfriend. O yun naman pali. O edi, pack up mo na yeah. si, ano. Yeah, then why si are friend. you doing this? Why are you behaving this way? Come on, Ivy. It's time to grow up. Mm-hmm. How old are you? You're 27 years old. I mean, we, we, we get this call all the time from 17-year-olds. You're 27. You're a full-grown, mature adult. Stop acting like a high school student. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Go away. Thank you. Thank you. Because po eh. Because po. Pinto po eh. Fuck. I should have asked her to describe the sex. Then maybe she would have had a little bit more life. Let's take a break. When we come back, more with Mr. Fu and his great storytelling capabilities. It's Good Times from all the podcast Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. It was a very memorable experience namin dalawa kasi plano namin, simple wedding lang, pero yung kinalabasan niya, extraordinary one. Kinagabihan pala ng wedding namin, August 7. Grabe na talaga yung ulan nun. Yung mga atin ng kasal namin kasi nangihingi sila ng confirmation kung tutuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi sobrang taas na din ang tubig. Pati yung photographer po kasi tinatanong kung tuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi medyo may tubig pa. Ang dami na namin na receive na calls pati kami dalawa nagtatawagan. Pero ang re-reply namin sa kanila, tuloy talaga ang kasal kahit na ano mangyari. Buti na nga lang kamo ang nakapag-register na kami agad yung kinagabihan pa lang naka-unly na kami parehas uh, naka-connect ano na kami combo ng blue kaya hindi masyadong hassle mm. pagte-text namin pagtatawagan sa ibang naming mga kasali sa kasal mm. pagpasok ko ng office ba ba para <laughs> hindi ko alam na nag-march pala lahat ng entourage ko sa ano sa tubig bago po kami nabas ng simbahan sinalubong po kami ng mga tao na nakita sa amin na talagang na-amaze sila nagulat sila Kaya yung nag-request sila ng ano doon ng, ng kiss. Pero talagang tama yung sinabi ni Father na for better or for worse, through thick or thin, through text and calls. <laughs> tama na, tuloy din yung kasal namin. Or glad to be glow. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, Wow! I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not... <laughs> Tears off! Tears off! Anyway, John this does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, John this And I am now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo! Look at me! Look at that! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Look Tapos. Ang puti. Ay, tapo. Dito ba? Pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consider. <laughs> Yan. Yeah, para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora. Pang ano ba to Oil absorbing. Pwede pa itong pang nose line? <laughs> oh. Okay. May caution. A when, caution. When caution. Basta ng glamour te. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Burahin na, burahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma'am. Pabasok yung gawa! Ito talaga? Hindi, bago yan. Don't okay. worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi ko nagkakapin. 
But dapat pala caution mo na yung pinasa na <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. What you've been missing on the factory. And now we're gonna show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. But before that, I was I was kicking ass. So go with the theme of the show, How Not to Play. Not to play. It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. Take a little sunshine. A splash of color can go a long way to brighten your world. Choose your color and choose your adventure at the Make Your Own Javianas 2013 event. Select from the newly launched rainbow color lineup of Javianas and match them up with the whimsical inspired pins to turn your fantasy into reality. Come on over to the Rockwell Tent on May 2nd to the 5th. Take part in the biggest annual summer flip flops customization event in the Philippines. Imagine where your creativity can take you. Make your own Havianas. Hi everybody, I'm Bianca Valerio. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20! <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20? Exactly, so find out every Sunday night, 8 9. <clears throat> Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys. So boys. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here, Friday night, 3rd of May, with Mr. Foo on the show tonight. You can follow him on Twitter. Foo, what's your Twitter? It's uh, Mr. Foo at you underscore my gun. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Hirap naman. <laughs> MRF, you underscore my ganon. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. On Twitter, Mr. Fu. And I'll tell you his shows again in just a little bit. Before that, though, are you ready to get your game on? Chevrolet Philippines brings you the Chevrolet Sonic, a sporty and stylish subcompact car that has 1.4 liter Ecotech engine with six speed uh, automatic transmission that provides dependable speed, power, and fuel efficiency. The Chevrolet Sonic is also equipped with high tech features such as steering wheel mounted uh, audio controls with USB auxiliary and Bluetooth, full audio streaming connectivity. Sonic is available in hatchback and sedan variants. There to take online challenges head on. Compliment your A-game now with the all-new Chevrolet Sonic. Visit your nearest Chevrolet dealership or log on to ChevroletSonic.com.ph to check out the all-new 2013 Chevrolet Sonic Game On. Phone number 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. And again, on the show tonight is Mr. Fu. You can check out his show, Ang Latest, which is every night, 11.30 p.m. except Sundays, also on WOW FM. I, your morning show starts at 8 a.m., right? Yes, 8 to 11. Yes. Eight. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's take a call from RC here. She is, uh, gosh, how old are you, RC? Well, I, I forgot. RC, hello. I'll ask you when Hi. you get on here. Mm -hmm. Hi, RC. How old are you again? Hello, hello. You're 20, right? 20 now. Now, 20. 20, Marquina. All right. Yeah. What's going on, baby? Welcome to the program. This is Mr. Fu. 
Hello. Hi. Um, uh, ask ko lang if how pleasurable is anal sex for men? For straight guys or for gay guys? Uh, for men. Uh, for straight. For straight you, guys? Us, ah, okay. us giving it to you. <laughs> Like like me giving it, to, not me taking it, right? Because then that would not be. Okay. Um. Why don't you experiment more? Why don't you experiment? Fu, would you admit yes or no? Your top or bottom? Again? 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 Oh, definitely. I'm talking to Fu. Hold on one second. Na bingen, na bingen. Uh oh. Mukala ako ng bottom pero hindi naman. No, no, no. I don't think you are. I see all that muscles on you. I think you, you think you seem like a top guy. I mean, <laughs> but, I mean, have you tried it? Because like for other guys, like say uh, John Lapus, who's on this program all the time, never uh-huh. tried. He has never tried anal sex. And then there are uh, other guys here that, are, of course, very much uh, are into it. So uh, you know, I, I well, here's my theory, Fu, and you tell uh-huh. me if this is correct. I believe thirty percent, only thirty percent of gay guys are into anal sex. The rest of the seventy percent blow job, blow job lang, and they're fine. Wait, would you, would you iba na think ngayon. That a... Iba na ngayon. Alam mo, dami ko namimit na mga guapo, mga muscle din, na mga bading. Akala mo, top pero bottom. Pagdating nyo sa kwarto, siya ang unang tutuwad. <laughs> so, so how, what, what's the percentage then? What's the percentage then of, of gay guys you think are into anal sex? Like receiving? So, we're 60 na. But tama yung unang mong observation, 30. Pero nag-double na siya, nag-60 na siya. 60, 40 na. I think ha, naku, baka magalit okay. ang mga bakla sa akin. Hindi kasi And have you tried it? Not what the receiving na, or giving. Muntik na, pero Have hindi talaga. It? Hindi kaya ng powers okay. ko. Receive, I mean giving? Even giving? You've never tried? A giving, yes, giving. Oo yeah. naman, pero yung ako, Okay, so, so you, taking, you're best to answer. Hmm. You're best to answer this. Is it, uh, is it pleasurable? The, uh, the sensation pleasurable? Oo naman. Oo naman. Pero kasi sa babae, hindi ko alam kung ano ang effect sa kanila. Kasi I think she's Pleasure. asking kung babae yung magre-receive. Oh, I thought she was asking, is it pleasurable for men to be giving it? I thought that was ah, the question. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, RC, naman. what's your question? Again. Uh, yeah, if it's pleasurable. Because he wanted to do it. Sayo. I refused. Did you try it? You refused? No, because I refused. Eh. Yeah, yeah, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. When yeah, it seems like it. It, it yeah. seems like it would hurt. Yeah. Now, okay. In terms of, if it's, is it pleasurable? Is it pleasurable for a penis, regardless if it's guy or gay guy? The, the sensation I'm assuming on the penis is the same. So that's why I want to ask you because I've never done it and I have no intentions of of uh, asking a girl. Sige, pwede naman mag-experiment mo eh. Bupunta pa naman ako dyan next month. Eh, Chos! That's right. Well, I mean, I, I feel like though. I'm just saying in theory. Magkaiba pa din. Magkaiba pa din. Pero pareho may sensation. Oh, so you've had sex with a female before? Fu? Oh, okay. Which oh. is which is is there pero a iba different pa sensation? Iba, iba pa de. Wow, magkaiba yung sensation. Pero meron pareho. Pareho meron. I it's feel just, like the anal sex is warmer. I just feel like the ass, like maybe because of all the utot factor, or medyo may init yung puwet. Pinasok mo yung medyo. Siguro kung hindi naglinis ng puwet, most probably mainit talaga. Oo, dahil may speculous peanut butter. Echos! Yeah, have you ever had that? Where the yung chili dog, pinasok mo yung hotdog, pag lumabas, may chili. Is that happening to you? Wala, hindi. Nakakainis. <laughs> kaya wag ka kakain ng munggo kaya malunggay kasi mga leaves may iiwan doon. Uh, Pagkuha mo gano'n, ah, oh, wow. Chop soy, that's chop so soy. Dis- <laughs> that's so disgusting. I can't even, I can't even fathom. That's gross. That's even worse than your patay stories of the police <laughs> quinta. This is, may leaves. Okay, anyway. Um, RC, yeah. is it enjoyable for men? I just, what I usually tell guys who call the show and say, you know, I want to try anal sex. I go, hmm. why would you want to do anal sex when you have a perfectly good vagina right there? <laughs> which is, you know, inches away. But I'm, <laughs> Like, I understand, like, if if gay guys want to have anal sex, I understand because, you know, they, there's no vagina in play. But if there's a vagina in the equation already, why? Why waste Actually, that? I don't know why. But... Is there an explanation? What did you say? Did you ask me why? Did you ask me why? Why my butt? I have puke. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> exactly. I just liked it. How about just this? Just wanted to okay, try how about it. This? 
Do the do do the food. Eat eat the mungo and all of these other things. So if he wants to try it, next thing you know, me leaf na medyo nagda dangle na jan sa point. Mama to turn off yon. Wag na ako ba ilagay mo na lang do recta na ilagay mo na recta na. Magiwa ka na ng sibuyas, ganon o ganon mo. Tapos lagay mo na don. No. Tapos pag pwesto mo ganon. Was he angry? Was he angry when you refused? No 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 naman no naman. Okay good. Then okay then conversation's over. Good. Yeah. Well, not all guys are like that. Maybe he watches a ton of porn or something like that. I, I don't oh, know. But maging, whatever. Ano, adventurous. Yeah, whatever it is, it's not something mine. Like, that, like if yeah. you if you were if you were my girlfriend, the conversation would never come up. I mean, it would. It, it's just I guess case by case. I'm going to say majority of guys probably are not, you know, trying it on their girlfriends when there's a perfectly good vagina six <laughs> inches away. <laughs> Okay. Ano ba ang perfect vagina? Eh, oh, no, I, you know, well, you know, that's a whole different topic. That's a good question. I mean, we can, we can get into that, you know, what, what makes a very nice vagina. But yes, um, it's good that you said no. I'm glad you, stand your, you stood your ground. And, um, yeah. and, and he's good with that. Then everything's fine. In terms of why guys want to do it, I don't know. Some guys, like, like Fu said, some are adventurous. Are you guys adventurous in other positions or when you guys have sex? Is it rough? Is it creative? Yeah, we've done almost all positions from my life. What's the wildest like what's the wildest sexual activity that you guys get involved in? Like whether it be position or you know, toy, I mean whatever. What are some of the things that he likes? I know toy no man. I don't like kasi. <laughs> okay, so so give me one that give me one that would entertain us. I'm like, wow, that that's 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 hardcore. Um, Have you done yeah. a vertical 69, like him standing up and you, like, inverted? Yeah, we did it now. Oh Holy God. shit. Oh, Look at you. Cirque du Soleil. Olympians. Cirque du Soleil. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Give me one that will really kind of like, I'd be, I would, that would wow me. Hmm. The audience participation na bang? I don't know. No. Oh my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> or si si Tagbi si na, si Tagbi okay si Bantay at just give give me a, give us one that we'd be like wow tangina that's that's awesome oh god wait dapat oh, sinili lista mo lagi mo sa yeah, iPhone you've done it all you've done it all I don't know how it's called but describe mo na lang but um I was like uh in the Nakahiga. And then, he was doing it. Nakafu. Really rough sex talaga. Paano? Paano rough? From behind? Eh, naman naka- 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 flu- naka- harness. Naka- harness. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, vertical 69 is, is more scandalous than oh. really rough sex. I mean, vertical 69 is difficult to pull off. Hirap yung lahat dugo na ulo mo. Po. <laughs> Ando na, <laughs> stuck doon. Tapos Hirap. binablow job mo pa rin. <laughs> Hirap naman na. <laughs> <laughs> Cirque du Soleil. Cirque du Soleil. All right, listen, there. RC. Yeah, I, yeah. whatever. Uh, anyway, back to your original question. I think it's fine. You, you know, if you if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. And that, that good for you. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Thanks. I, I tell this story uh, often. Fu, my my last girlfriend wanted to give me blowjobs while I was taking a shit. Habang tumatake ko, gusto niya. And it's, it's, it's like, kailangan ko talaga i-lock yung pinto. And it, it, she'll try to break in. Just to, it really was one of those things that she wanted to do. Tae, gusto niya. <laughs> Ba't tae, <laughs> tae? Alam mo yun, mabako. Hindi naman nakakainin yung tae. Ba't kahit na? Kahit na? Umu-enter pala yeah. yung tae, mabaho na yun. What more? Nalulubas na? <laughs> Ang OA? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, really. It was very, very unique, wild. I mean, and and I never allowed it, but boy, she really did try her best to, to, to. to An explanation, it yeah. Um, Sabi niya. We 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 heard it once on a radio show or something like that. She's wow, ang cool naman yun. Putang na try na natin yun. And I'm like, no, no, no. Abang to matay ka. I'll give you blood. That seems like that would be so amazing. So, I mean, on like a dozen. Instances, it, it was ch- ch- really tried to to do it. it. It was really something she wanted to give a try, and I, and I was like, I, I no. <laughs> but it was fighting off no. It's like no, and then I mean, you, know, you had to kick her away. Type of habang tumatay. Don't tell me that break it. I didn't want to be big. No, 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 no. Hindi naman na okay. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Imagine a scandalous breakup. Everybody thinks it's about one thing, but it really is about blowjob during tie. 
I want to ask you a question before we get to our uh, uh, next call here. Paano ako what tumahe? Is... Paano ako tumahe? Ganun din ako po. <laughs> <laughs> what is the deal with Christy Furman and not liking me all of a sudden again? Hindi ko nga alam. Honestly, I don't know. Man, I have no idea either. Because like the day I was leaving, I mean, she was one of the last people I saw before I went to the airport. Parang hindi, teka lang. Baka kasi meron, eto ha, parang what I heard, you said something against her. Did you? No, why? Why would I? Why would I start that again? Yun nga eh, kaya nga, that's so weird. Kaya biglang, kasi parang feeling ko ganon. Feeling ko baka may nakarating sa kanya na sinabi mo, kaya siya nagalit. Ooh. Do you do you know what the rumor is that I said? Because well, first of all, I didn't say anything, so at least that I am about as clear conscious of it as anything. You know, I mean, I can't be any more clear about that. Like, there's no, there's nothing uh, to be a hundred percent honest. Whether you believe me or you don't, I really don't mind. Mm. But at least to myself, I know hundred percent. I didn't say one thing about her until recently, of course, because you know she. Started with these weird yes, kind know. of uh, 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 comments and stuff. But do you know what was rumored that uh, that I said? I, I I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Pero ang ang I think ang basa ko was parang you said something. Now I don't know what what in particular yung sinabi mo. I can yeah, ask weird. her. I can ask her. her. <laughs> you know, even even the shalala at the same time. I'm like really the shalala is like reporting that I'm like extremely poor here. I'm like I just watched about how. I mean, like it was very very weird. I'm like, wow, uh, these people were. I mean, I guess to a point they were really good friends of mine, and I saw them yeah, almost na, before I left. Nagulat, lalo na yung Christy wild. and you. Dun ako nagulat talaga. Right. Dun ako nagulat. Tapos yeah. ano, saan ang, ano, I can ask. I can ask. Yeah, you can ask. Ah, yes. But when she's a, she's she's got a little sexual energy in her as well. Huh? I mean, now that we're you know we're, we're talking about, boy, does she have it? Ano? <laughs> yeah. No. Like, well, there were times where I know we got to take calls here. Sorry, guys, but but. It's just because, you know, Fu and I are catching up. So please, uh, b- be patient with our conversation. <laughs> yeah, man. There are times like, you know, when we're on, when we're on set and stuff like that. And, you know, during commercial breaks, Christie's would like, she would look at like, say, even like say, uh, uh, uh Kathy, uh, Gonzaga, uh, oh. Alex, right? Oh. She would look at Alex and, and then she kind of whispered me, go, mm, mm. you know, there's a thing with the lips, you know, parang kinakagat niya yung, yung, yung labi niya. Tingnan mo yung buha. Mm, sariwa na yung buha. <laughs> it's like, Wow. <laughs> Relax, no, 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 no. And then, and then you know, Alex would sit down, and you know, and then, and then uh, Christy would kind of put her hand on her thigh, and I'd be like, "Whoa!" whoa. I'm like, "Hey, Christy, come over here." You know, be like, no, no. Obviously, Alex doesn't know, and she's just like, you know, being Alex. You know, she's nice to everyone, and you know, and it's not like she was she wasn't molesting or anything. But you know, <laughs> it's just it's just weird because it's just weird because like two minutes earlier she was like, "Mo, take my." Parang, um, ang tight naman babae niya. And then when she, when she said, hi, how are you? Then yung parang kinakares yung likot and yung thigh, I'd be like, whoa. I'm like, Christy, come over here. <laughs> Wala naman kami <laughs> ganyang conversation. Wala naman kami ganyang conversation. Afraid. Yeah, man. <laughs> or, or like, I would teach you, we would talk about ex-girlfriends, for example, mm. right? And I would say, you know, um, you know, you know, like I talk about an ex-girlfriend who's very, very mm. pretty, and uh, this is an ex-girlfriend from like years and years and years ago, like ten years ago, ex-girlfriend, and she's like, "Wow, she got a sarap dila in Dubai." And you know, I mean, I'm like, "Wow, man, Christie's got some sexual energy in her." Talaga? Super. Ah, talaga. Super. Pero ano nga nangyari? Bakit kaya nag-away? Baka may nasabi ka. I have no idea. Hindi, hindi, no, I, I, I promise. I'll tell you right now. I, I did not say a single thing. I oh. promise you I didn't say a single thing. Tatanong, I, I, was, I, I ko sa always, kanya. Tatanong ko sa kanya. Yeah, in the end, it would be great to have her on your side because she's such a pit bull, you know? That, that you know, you don't want to fight her. But oh, if you're going to fight her, you might as well. Afraid. Right? Oh. No, because I'm okay with arguing with her. But, you know, if she's... Uh, if she's going to be a pit bull about it against me, then yeah, I don't mind fighting her. That's I'll fine. ask. I'll um, ask. Uh, honestly, please do. Sa kanya. Uh-oh. Hindi ko na, sa kanya do. I'm, wala. I'm, Uh-oh. I'm super uh, uh, intrigued about why she's so angry. Uh, let's go to Yogi. Let's put Yogi up. Yogi, you've got a question. What's going on? Hello? Hey, man. Hey, hey Mr. Fu. Hi, yep, Yogi. hi, Yogi. You're 20 years old. What's hey, going on, buddy? Yes, yeah. <laughs> he did your make on. Love it. All right, what's up? Um, so I feel like I'm, well, I feel sad today. I'm in college and I feel hopeless with uh, my studies and, uh, we had an exam earlier and I had a low grade and 
it's been happening for quite quite some time na rin. Just consistently low grades and I'm being hopeless with uh, and I've been thinking ganun and it really got me sad and to the point of depression na na I don't even know what to do anymore. Na I search for uh, depression forums online to see what I can do with kasi parang hindi na ako motivated to do anything to study or what year are you in? My, my failures and all that. What year are you in? Huh? Yes. What year? I'm in Freshman, year. sophomore, fourth junior. Year. I'm sorry. Fourth year. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, College. We'll we'll see, said, right. <laughs> College. Uh, right. Supposedly, I'm graduating, but I uh, I was supposed to graduate uh, this March, but. Low grades and all that, so wala. Yeah. Um, Yogi, gosh, well, I, 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 I come across people all the time who, like, for example, when it comes to their thesis, dun sila magkukwit. And I'm like, dude, do you know how close you are already? And you know how many years you've put in this whole educational process from when you were a child to this very moment, and you're going to quit here? Like this, it's too hard. It's too hard. I mean, really? Do you know how long it took to get to this point, and this is where you're f- gonna crumble? That that it's 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 crazy to think it. Like it, it's it's one of the great big sayangs. Like I would rather you fail as a freshman than fail as a senior. Mm-hmm. It, it's like the airplane that takes off, that flies, and crashes when it lands. It's like putang talaga when it was landing. Like, <laughs> Can it just crash in the beginning? Right. <laughs> I went through the entire ten-hour flight. Parang lang mamatay lang sa, sa end. Correct. You know, it's like, oh. like, you know, sa sa pag, it's like, come on, come on, life. Uh-oh. Don't quit at the end. I don't want you to quit at any time, but fucking hell, don't quit at the fucking end. That's the worst. That's the worst place to crash, man. So when you're trying to find inspiration, inspiration is motivation it's like this is it exactly we, we're no longer talking about in four years we're no longer talking about in what i'm what i'm gonna do how am i gonna get through my college years you're already done you're at the end this is it man we're talking months only yeah but you're 20 years old it started, you've spent more yeah. time in school than anywhere else in your life at 20 years old you've done more studying in your life than anything else you've done You've studied and you've schooled more than you've hung out. You've schooled more than you've played video games. You've schooled more than you've done sports. You've schooled more than anything else. It's the number one thing you've done almost the entire duration of your life. And it comes to an end in a few months. Yeah, it's just... Don't quit. All the failures. It's really depressing. Nah, nah. No, but you're not failing. I don't failing. even want to no, do no, anything see, about it. Yogi, you're not failing. You're only thinking you're failing. What does that mean? You're at the end. If you failed constantly, how the hell did you get at the end? How did you get to the part where you're about to graduate if you were failing throughout the whole time? You haven't been failing. You're just having a bad run. I, okay, I remember this. Okay, I, you know, I cover the NBA, right? And I remember talking to uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Do you, know, do you follow basketball, Yogi? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Dirk, right? I'm talking to, do you know Dirk, right? Great German shooter, uh, oh, Dallas yeah. Mavericks, fucking fantastic seven footer. Of course, you know him, right? So I was talking to Dirk and I'm yeah, like, Dirk, man. I got a question, bud. And, and this is not an interview. This is part, I was just talking to him. Like I was talking to Fu about his past job. I was like, Dirk, say you're seven for 20 from the field. And in the fourth quarter, you guys are down by one. Say you're four for 20 from the field. You've only made four out of 20 shot attempts, which is a horrible, horrible night. That means that's a bad night. Do you take the shot or do you give it to someone else? He's like, I take the fucking shot. I, 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 I mean, you know, listen. He's like, bro, listen, I take that shot. If I'm four for 20, if I'm one for 10, if I'm one, if I'm zero for 20, I take the shot in the fourth. My senior year, I'm taking the shot. Why? Because I got, I'm, the reason why the ball is in my hands is because I did something right to get to this point. Regardless of how bad it is right now, I'm still going to make the basket. So like, my, my point is, even though you feel like you're failing, you must have succeeded to get to fourth year college anyway. Just fucking finish it. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> You're only I, living I, I in the now. You got to think about the shit that you went through to get to this point. Andiyan ka na kuya, ano ka ba? Ngayon ka pa ba tusuko? Gawin mo na yan. For the win. For the win! Yeah, no, seriously, that's right. For the win. Seeing my classmates graduate is just, siguro it's too heavy for me na ngayon napapaisip tuloy ako. But I do have to finish it. I really do. Yeah, you have to finish it. Yeah, yeah. You have to finish it. Dude, again, if you called the show and you said, I'm second year college, tapos this is really not for me, I would encourage you to stay in school. But if you said, Diko na talaga kaya, then I'd say, okay, take a break. This one, don't take a break. You're already at the end. Don't be a pussy. Please finish the fucking thing. All right, man. I will. I will. Please don't Thanks, let me down man. E, no matter how many tests you failed this year, just put it aside and finish it. All right? Thanks, man. All right. Thanks, Mo. Thanks, Mr. Fu. Right. Thanks. Thanks, bud. Bye-bye. Thanks. Have a good one. It, so many people quit, no? Pag thesis na. Try not to end there. <laughs> Sobrang hirap talaga ang thesis. Thesis na lang? O ayan na eh. Malapit na? Or get someone to make it, write it for you. Oh. Just, you're already there. It's time to think. It's time to wrap it up. Pero panalo right. yung anyway, e- after aeroplano. This, <laughs> It's like, oh my God, it's so, I would rather just crash at the beginning. Okay, let's take a break. When we come back, last chance for your convert. We'll just talk about, you know, I want to talk about these hottest guy lists that we came up with, and then we're going to wrap up tonight's episode with Mr. Fu. It's Good Times to Roll the Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Phone number 4787954 or Skype, the Good Times Podcast. Back after this. Stay t- 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 we'll return after this commercial break. With All Stars, we're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have. Some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga biglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet five-year warranty, three-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought <laughs> it was. You <laughs> made it up. You made it up. I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. Yeah, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically. <laughs> Now, number two, upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Lock all doors of vehicles. 
during inspection since lock oh, lock they might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking but that's doors. the thing okay. this is where they get you and this is actually <laughs> i know we're making fun of it a little bit but yeah. it's a serious issue we've seen some people genuinely harass drugs are planted yeah and, yeah, yeah, and, and, and other things stories. you know um mm. a justin bieber cd is planted which is even worse oh yes no. i've heard of that you know and there's no defense for that there's Bieber really no defense with the, yeah it's like, it's but your honor we found this i <laughs> throw, throw the book at him the then cd as well you, to, you know then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything yeah. and ne next thing you know you know you have a justin bieber ringtone <laughs> Catch James Deacon and the boys on Counterflow, Wednesdays, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine. A splash of colour can go a long way to brighten your world. Choose your colour and choose your adventure at the Make Your Own Havianas 2013 event. Select from the newly launched rainbow colour lineup of Havianas and match them up with a whimsical inspired pins to turn your fantasy into reality. Come on over to the Rockwell Tent on May 2nd to the 5th. Take part in the biggest annual summer flip-flops customization event in the Philippines. Imagine where your creativity can take you. Make your own Havianas. Hi everybody, I'm Bianca Valerio. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20. <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20? Exactly, so find out every Sunday night, 8 9. Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys so good. My girlfriend says she hates me. <laughs> it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast on this Friday night. Of course, brought to you by Globe, Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. Don't forget to throw in a nomination for us for the 2013 TAT Awards. There is a podcast category. I, I think it's like tech blog slash podcast. So it's not just entirely podcasting. But uh, yeah, if you throw one in there for us, we would appreciate it definitely. So just, I guess, search on Google or whatnot. Um, Tattoo Awards 2013 and uh, do nominate us. We'd appreciate it. Also, if you're going to Barakai this summer, you should check out the Globe's first ever concept store. It's at uh, the D-Mall in Barakai, which sounds really cool. Uh, you can open an account if you haven't yet. You can update your account if you already have one, pay your bills, get a copy of uh, your bill, or even check out and buy phones and uh, gadgets there. So let's just say you get drunk and you lost your phone. Well, hey, look, at least you can easily grab Grab a phone from the new concept store. Globe now has 172 stores nationwide, and that's just the start. Globe, of course, making sure that you are closer to uh, a store when you need it. It's a cool shop. If you're in Barakai, check it out. And uh, yeah, all right. Good stuff. Thanks, everyone. Mr. Fu on the program. You can catch him on Ang Latest, which is 1130, Mondays through Saturdays. He's got a radio show on uh, 103.5 Wow FM. Starts at 8 a.m. And uh, that is on week weekdays, I'm assuming, right? Monday yep. to Friday or Monday to Thursday? Friday. Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. How do you, I, 
you still enjoy the radio gig. Huh? Ayo naman. Hindi ko iiwan yung radio. Just like you. Oh. Idol kita yeah. eh. You're the highest paid. Remember? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Maybe fine. Okay. Oh, you're no, the highest uh, yeah. paid. Oh. Uh, radio is generally not a great uh, paying job. But when not you in your really case, it, not in your case. When you're, <laughs> not, no, when you're really good at it, it, it can get slightly lucrative. So it's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, but, um, oh. Yes, no. it's a little bit better than your police reporting job. Oh, no, but no, but you know, listen. When 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 I started on radio, I was getting paid four thousand pesos a month. So, um, you know, it, 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 it is on, <laughs> yeah, early nineties. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, all right, so let's go to some of these calls. Let's start with Earl here, who has an interesting question. Earl, you're 24. You are in Pasig, and you've got a question. This here is Mr. Fu. What's up, Earl? Okay. Yes, hello. Hi. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I've texted earlier. So, uh, yung problem ko kasi is yung kasi nung girlfriend ko. Um, I fucked her uh, four years ago. We had a When she was uh, just 16 years old, and I am 19. Mm-hmm. And uh, ngayon, um, parang almost every day ko siyang nakikita kasi na- same compound lang siya nakatira nung parents nung girlfriend ko. By the way, yung girlfriend ko and I are living for, uh, live in for five years now. We have two kids. Okay. Ay, ngayon, okay. gusto ko, I wanna fuck her girlfriend, eh, her cousin again. Kasi napansin ko parang gumanda yung katawan niya, lumaki yung boobs dati kasi sobrang payat niya nung... Well, of course, she was 16 when you were statutory raping her. That's right. Okay, now that she's, uh, you know, 20, she's a little bit more of a woman. Okay, I get it. All right. Yeah. And? I guess. And yeah. Um, one time I asked her, sabi ko, uh, kung gusto niya punta siya dito sa bahay namin, sa apartment ko namin, pagka wala yung pinsan niya. And hindi niya ako pinansin. And uh, yeah, she just ignored me. So, yeah. I just want to ask kung ano yung uh, magagawa ko para mapilit ko siya ulit. <laughs> <laughs> this is like asking for advice on how to commit a crime. Uh, like, why, why would you ask us? Hindi niya tinatanong kung tama o mali, pero gusto niyang gawin talaga yon. Sa tingin niya talaga, nararapat. Hindi kasi nagawa ko na rin siya before. Kaktot may girlfriend's kasi. Okay, um... Now, know. did you text? Did you text her? Sorry, uh, sorry. Go ahead, Fu. Did you wait, hold on? Fu, did did you text her and say punta ka dito or tinawagan mo or I mean, what did you do? No, um, nakita ko siya dun kasi minsan nandun kami sa sa bahay ng parents ng girlfriend ko. So minsan nakikita ko siya dun. And then what? Na dumaan siya sa harap ko. Ah, by ano? Eh, hindi ko na hindi kami nagpapansinan after nung yana sa min four years ago. So bigla ko lang siya kaniyos na walang pasok parang kasi college siya. Walang pasok sa wala daw so punta ka naman sa bahay minsan pag wala si yung pinsa mo dai <laughs> bigla nag make face lang yung sabay dire diretso na siya ay gusto yo <laughs> nag make face oo no but what does make Pero, face mean fu sorry I, i i i think she's turned off by him hindi ba ka nagpa cute anong klase make face ba dilabas ba yung dila ano tinasim palda ano ginawa <laughs> <laughs> yung uh, <laughs> Huh? Ginawa niyo yung peace sign, yung, yung V, noo. tapos ginawa yung dila niya. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did she do? Nagkunot lang siya ng no, parang nag, nag, uh, nag-cross yung kilay niya, parang gano'n. Ay. Tsaka, pero meron you siyang boyfriend here. kasi for three years. Oh, well, that's all. Okay. Isang, beses so, Earl, lang ba, you... isang beses lang ba nangyari, dati? Oo, uh, isang beses lang. Eh, baka hindi siya natuwa sa'yo, kaya kumunot ang noo. Hindi rin ako natuwa sa kanya dati, kaya gusto ko rin umuli. Ah, repeat perform. Earl, what do you th- the problem with you, Earl, is you think that you own this world and we're here just paying rent. You know, so it's, it's like, what, are you, what the fuck are you thinking, man? You haven't spoken to this girl in four years. Hindi mo siya pinapansin for four years. May boyfriend siya. Maybe she's matured and realized that the decision she made in having sex with you, her cousin's live in almost husband was a bad decision where do you get off four years later thinking she's just gonna walk into your room and give you a blowjob again I mean um, right I mean, like what do you mean? class go ahead parang yung five years namin naghahanap na naman ako ngayon ng bago siguro yung sex life kasi namin is hindi na ganun katulad nung dati so gusto ko ulit mag explore parang kahit nga yung, yung kapit-bahay namin, parang 
tinitis ko rin yung next door sa apartment ma'am. Okay, hold on one second. You're living with your girlfriend's parents and you're nope, trying to uh, fuck their a, niece. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But, wait, but it's still your parent it's still her parents compound, right? You're living there. Correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. So let's just say that I and, and by the way, since they have a compound, let's just go ahead and assume they have a little bit of money or, or thereabouts. Okay. So I okay. have a compound. Say I'm her father. I have a compound. And I'm allowing you to live with my daughter, who you haven't married yet, and you have two children. And I find out you're trying to fuck my niece, who lives in the co- uh, compound, and my neighbor, who I've lived next to for years. If I find out that you're doing this, I will cut your dick off. And, and, and I'll call the reporters to come by, and I'll leave it there for them to take pictures of it. What are you, fucking nuts? Uh, siguro mga four blocks away lang yung compound nila sa apartment na nire-rent namin. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter, stupid. You get caught, he's gonna fucking destroy you. You try, you, you, you impregnated his daughter twice and not married her, and now you're trying to fuck his niece. It's the first time we did it, natapat nga ako kasi she's ano, uh, minor pa nun, 16. Akala ko magsusumbong yes, siya kasi nag-away kami. Yes, and if he finds out... Right. And if he, if he finds out that there was a time where you did indeed fuck his niece when she was 16, then you're really dead. So why don't you just try to fix your relationship so your, the sex life between you and your girlfriend get a little bit better and stop wanting to put your dick in every girl that walks by in your neighborhood? Because it's going to get cut off. Eric, Earl, sorry, Eric. Earl, it's going to get cut off. Okay. Because I would cut it off. Man, if I found out, I would cut your dick off. Literally. Like, not, like, I'm not trying to be entertaining because it's the show and stuff. I would really grab your dick and grab a knife and cut the fucking thing off. At ako ang kukuha. At ako ang kukuha. And yeah, that's right. And then we're going to give it to Foo's friends. <laughs> I mean, really, you are playing, in, you're swimming in such dangerous waters, a shark infested, human eating shark infested waters. This is very dangerous for you. Exactly. Foo, and then you. Yung thrill. That's not a thrill, you idiot. Oh, you know. That's not a thrill. Ay, you see, yung relationship mo sa asawa mo o do sa kalivin mo. Diba? Kung, kung may problema kay sa sex life nyo, edi mag-experiment kayo, gumawa kayo ng mga paraan para mag- maging maayos. Kasi yun, lahat na ng girls dyan sa compound din nyo, ikutsorvahin mo. Diba? Pag nahuli ka, dude, I'm telling you, Earl, really, I, I mean, as, as mm. thrilling as you might think it is, and I'm not going to, as much as, well, we're not gonna, I'm not going to give you a lot of advice on how to fix your relationship. I'm just trying to keep you alive. I swear you would get you, I would, I would shoot you double dead, Baboy. Shoot you down. Wala ba ibang compound dyan? Wala ba ibang compound dyan na kailangan dyan sa loob ng compound nyo? You can go in. <laughs> Oh, God, Earl. You're 24 and you're already a D.O.M., you piece of shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know. Oh, I, can, I, can, I, I, can, I can tell. Ugh. All right, Earl. Stop it, please, okay. or you'll get your dick cut, cut off. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Th- thanks. Thanks. Bye. Lagay natin dito sa mug. Sa mug! So dito lang kasha. Maliit lang. Let's go to, who's this? Is this Dom? Dom, you are 16? Yeah. What's up, buddy? Um, so I have this problem. Uh, since after summer, I was aching to lose my virginity. I was like, yep. um, looking for, for girls from my school to help me. So none of them were like, wanting to have sex because they don't want it because they're like waiting for the right guy and sure i have this best friend who's a girl in my school uh she's my batchmate and yeah she's like she gave me a blowjob when we were at the party and then my my cousin knew about me having the problem. So my cousin helped me by, um, she's gonna, I mean, he's gonna introduce me to this college girl 
who is looking for like a high school guy to have sex with. Um, sure. So, yeah, we're gonna meet next week. Um, my best friend called me, then she told me that she should be the one um, diversionizing me, and I should be the one diversionizing her. So my question is, friend. who am I gonna do it with? Do it with both of them. No, I mean, you know, one <laughs> do one and do the other one. That's awesome. What a great, what a great situation to be in. See that one, nahinya mo. Because. Be, be, no, well, she, you have to do the, the best friend because, you know, you guys have a pact. You're going to diversionize, she's going to diversionize you. And then you get the other girl who's mahilig naman sa sex. She doesn't care if you're a virgin or not. She's going to fuck you anyway. So you get both of them. At least you get to practice, too, with the other one. Yeah. Begin a award, to? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, life is great. Win-win solution. Yeah, you're... you're Boy, he's 16, huh? That's that's good stuff. Yeah, man, if your best friend is willing to, and she wants to do it as well, and you you guys have done, you know, BJ's before and all of that stuff, it, you know, yeah, why not uh, Why not give it a shot? Just make sure you use protection, Dom. Okay. Who do you want to do first? Because it, because the other girl, see, the other the problem is the other girl has a lot more experience, right? So you're not yeah. going to perform as well because you have zero experience. At least if you can practice a little bit. So when you get to the other girl, you're kind of a little bit more comfortable. But the college girl is like as in super hot. So like, it's yes, to to that's why you don't want to fail. That's why you practice a little bit because she's super hot. Practice on your best friend. So it's like one time only with her... Should I like tell her to like most things attached? Something like that. To who? To the hot girl? No, my best friend. Oh well, the, your wait. The, your best friend knows though that you guys are not boyfriend girlfriend, right? I mean, she did give you a blowjob, and that was a casual blowjob, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just as long as you guys know that you both want to do this, and you are both clear that you're not in a relationship, and this is a casual thing and you guys are friends with occasional blowjobs, then just as long it's clear to her that that's the case. Because I don't want her to think that you like her and you guys are, are together and then you're going to divergentize her and then she's going to be, you know, feeling really bad. She has, you, she has to be comfortable with this and be very clear that this is just a casual sexual encounter. That has okay. to be clear. If it's not clear, then don't sleep with her and sleep with the super hot college chick. Boy, I wish I was you. Poggy. Right, foo? Sino ka mukha mong artista? <laughs> yeah, who do you look like? Yeah, who's your, who's your celebrity doppelganger? Um, uh, I'm taking up acting classes. The the guy told me I look like Coco Martin. Oh. Uwe, baka na Coco Jam lang yan, oh. <laughs> or coconut nut is the giant nut. Anong number niyan ate? Etos. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> alright. Ano mo mas call them? Nas bading sa bading na lang muna. Sa bading na lang muna. <laughs> no. Don't, don't, don't. It'll shatter you. <laughs> Have a good day, Dom. Thanks for the call. Good luck and call us back and let us know how it went. I, I, I'm intrigued. Okay, speaking of Coco Martin. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Fu. Yes. Hottest guy showdown. Okay, you tell me real quick who's who's hotter between the two names. Okay. okay. I had ABS-CBN, number three seed John Lloyd mm-hmm. versus number six seed Coco Martin. Who's hot? I thought Coco Martin is hotter, but I went with John Lloyd only because... And, and remember, when we say a guy is hot, it's not just the face. It's yes. everything. Face, personality, mm-hmm. ability. Hindi ka tuloy ng mga girls. Pag girls hot, hot na tanga. Okay lang kung boba ka or whatever. It doesn't matter. Stupid ka, doesn't matter. But para pag sa guys, marami ibang factors dun. Talent and all of that. Who's the hotter guy John Lloyd Cruz Coco Martin Agree naman ako dun sa dun sa ano dun sa survey mo na si John Lloyd yun na una pero personal choice ko sa si Coco All the love ko si John Lloyd pero But John Lloyd's over na- chubby you know, Okay lang kasi iba yung charm niya eh iba yung charm ni John That's Lloyd. the thing it's only the charm that's saving John Lloyd kasi yeah. I mean, he's he's guapo, he's guapo. But, Coco, but Coco's but Coco's guapo 
Oh, oh, oh. They're Pero, both the, the best actors of their generation, exactly. probably, right? Let's go to kasi portray ni John Lloyd sa mga movies niya, mas romantic kumpara kay Coco Martin. That's why mas yung mga girls, mas 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 gusto si John Lloyd kasi nga yung mga pinoportray niya sa mga movies niya, eh talagang dashing Para siyang, uh, or saka Hugh Prince Grant Charming, or yes. Like, Prince yeah, Charming. yeah, like, you know. Eh si Coco yeah, okay, naman you. hindi. Although pag yun yung si Coco, eh sobrang cute naman din. Mm. So ako, personal so choice ko lang ko. Coco ako. Pero, agree naman ako doon sa survey. Ay, yun yung explanation ko. Kasi nga, mas nakikita ng mga girls yung charm ni John Lloyd. Pero my, my okay. vote goes to Coco. Yeah, Alright, here we go. I'm throwing some more out. Hmm. Derek Ramsey, number one seed. Derek Ramsey in the wild card. Meaning, no, meaning either wild card is TV5 oh. or non-network. Hmm. Derek Ramsey versus Chris Chu. Number eight, Chris Chu. Chris Chu? Nako kapatid ko si Chris Chu. Derek Ramsey na <laughs> Hindi ko pwede pagrasaan si Chris Chu. Oo. Okay, here we go. Here's a, here's a difficult one. Mm. Number three, Phil Young Husband versus number six, Bamboo. I Phil. Ah, Phil ako. Really? Pili ko si Angel ako. You know, ako. Phil, oh. Phil got destroyed on air. Bamboo, clean house. Bamboo. Ah, oh, talaga. Easily. Well, putang yun bamboo naman on stage. Putang yun. Ah, oo naman. As a performer, yes. Oo. Putang yun, he owns it. Oo, oo, oo naman. Kasi performer si Bamboo. Pero siguro kasi, looks yung, ano ko, yung batayan ko. Kaya siguro sinabi ko si Phil. Tsaka kasi right, sinabi ako ni Phil, napapakasalan niya ako in one interview. <laughs> Kaya hindi ko siya makakalimutan. <laughs> Tinanong ko talaga siya, sabi niya, kasi kung pagpapakasal na kay ni Angel, hindi pa daw. Eh tayo, kailan? Ngayon na daw, sabi niya. <laughs> So, And you believed him. Oh, you know, if you're in, in, in your intelligence, you actually. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, lang ang May statement, eh. The go. Oh. Fantasy. How about this? Piolo, number one, the number one seed out of ABS, Piolo, mm. versus number eight, Mateo Guticelli. Hindi ako nakasagot. Kasi type ko si Mateo, kaya nga gusto ko maging ano, eh, triathlete. Teka lang. <laughs> Pero, Pero iba Piolo si Piolo, naman. eh. Piolo, It's highest man. level. Piolo, yun. so good looking. Ay, sobra. So good Ay, nako. I wanna be Piolo Pascual. Even... Let's <laughs> He's incredibly good looking. Oh, on All right, one more, one mm. more, then we gotta take a call because we're running. We, we have a mm. call from uh, New York mm. uh, on the phone, pa. So, medyo mahirap yun kasi laki ng uh, bayan. <laughs> uh, number three, Alger Abrenica. Number six, Drew Aureliano. Drew ako. Drew ako. Yes. Crush ko yan eh. Oh, sinabi ko na sa kanya. Tangina Drew is so good looking, man. Chaka love siya ni Ethel Buba. Love siya ni Ethel Buba. That's right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I, I think Drew uh, gets the upset over Alger there. That's going to happen on Monday. All right. Let's get to these calls. Uh, New York. Let's talk to Abby. Abby, you're 26. You're calling from, uh, yeah, the US. What's up? Line two. I'm sorry. Uh, I forgot to say. Line two is uh, Abby in New York. Hello? Abby in New York? No? Oh, did we lose her? Asa ko ba na lang daw siya. Ay na niya mag New York. Oh, god damn it. All right, let's go. Let's finish this one. Uh, number line four. And talk to Kim, and then we're out of here. Hi, Kim. You're in line four? Kim? Borlog na. 31 year old Kim from Parinaque? Kim. Guys, do we. Uh, I, I don't see. Okay, there we go. Hello, Kim? I think we lost her as well. Shit, we lost both of them. <laughs> All right, never mind then. We'll wrap it up. Um, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll say our goodbyes to Mr. Fu, who uh, has been here sharing so much. I mean, we didn't take a lot of calls tonight. Uh, I'm sorry, by the way, for the people we didn't get on air. It's just, uh, we had, I, I feel like we had some great conversation with Mr. Fu. So let's take a break. When we come back, uh, we'll say our goodbyes, find out who caller of the night is, give away surprises, all of that right here on the podcast. It's Good Times from the Podcast Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay t- 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 we'll return after this commercial break. It was a very memorable experience namin dalawa kasi plano namin, simple wedding lang, pero yung kinalabasan niya, extraordinary one. Kinagabihan pala ng wedding namin, August 7, grabe na talaga yung ulan nun. Yung mga atin ng kasal namin kasi nangihingi sila ng confirmation kung tutuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi sobrang taas na din ng tubig. Pati yung photographer po kasi tinatanong kung tuloy ba namin yung kasal kasi medyo may tubig pa. Ang dami na namin nare-receive na calls, pati kami dalawa nagtatawagan. Pero ang nare-reply namin sa kanila, tuloy talaga ang kasal kahit na ano mangyari. Buti na nga lang kamo ang nakapag-register na kami agad nung kinagabihan pa lang ng... Um... 
naka-unly na kami parehas. Uh, Naka-all nut, uh, nakami, combo ng blue. Kaya hindi masyadong hassle. Mm. Pagtitext namin, pagtatawagan sa ibang naming mga kasali sa kasal. Mm. Pagpasok ko ng doon sa iba, wow, para <laughs> Hindi ko alam na nag-march pala lahat ng entourage ko sa ano, sa tubig. Bago po kami nabas ng simbahan, sinalubong po kami ng mga tao na nakakita sa amin. At talagang na-amaze sila, nagulat sila. Kaya yun, nag-request sila ng ano doon ng, ng peace. peace. Pero talagang tama yung sinabi ni Father na for better or for worse, through thick or thin, through text and goals. <laughs> tama na, tuloy din yung kasal namin. We're glad to be globe. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice, and I am now. Happy to present to you, Carlo Tayo. Look at this, look at that. Look at this. snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos. Ang puti. Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ano <laughs> yan, para sa show mo ha. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora. Pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing. Pwede ba itong pang nose line? <laughs> Okay, oh. may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas na glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> oh, burahin na, burahin na siya. <laughs> oh my God! Damn! <laughs> Sorry, ma. Mas na glamour! Ito talaga? <laughs> Pwede bago yan, don't okay. worry. <laughs> Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi <laughs> naman nagkakap yun. Dapat pala caution mo na yung pinakinan. <laughs> Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, Wow! I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta for and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. Well, before that, I was, I was kicking ass. So go with the theme of the show, How Not to how Play. It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m. Only here on The Factory. Hey, Mo Twister here. All right, podcasters, listen up, because this is really, really important. Major Homes brings you unique and creative developments, giving you a real chance at a sure, affordable, and hassle-free investment. Invest in your future today. Call 0917-517-4287. Major Homes is here. Take a little sunshine. A splash of colour can go a long way to brighten your world. Choose your colour and choose your adventure at the Make Your Own Havianas 2013 event. Select from the newly launched rainbow colour lineup of Havianas and match them up with a whimsical inspired pins to turn your fantasy into reality. Come on over to the Rockwell Tent on May 2nd to the 5th. Take part in the biggest annual summer flip flops customization event in the Philippines. Imagine where your creativity can take you. Make your own Havianas. Hi, everybody. I'm Bianca.
Bianca Valeria. I'm Julia Snigowski. I'm Trisha Centenera. And we are the girls of 20. <laughs> okay, so you have to be wondering what on earth is 20. Exactly, so find out every Sunday night, 8 9. <coughs> Hang out with us. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about everything under the sun. Girls, boys, boys, boys boobs, boobs, boobs. Okay, boobs. Boobs. <laughs> boobs. <laughs> boobs. You say boobs. Uh, okay. But since in the meantime we can't figure out the whole podcast thing, figure yeah. out, but we're trying to figure out boys, figure, figure <laughs> we out. We need to get ourselves out, so we know what's going on. Exactly. Okay, okay. Anyways, our first podcast is this Sunday at 8. <coughs> yeah. Please join us because we're, we're all, all here. here. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here on this Friday night. Let us uh, wrap up tonight's program by thanking our guest, Mr. Fu. Fu, thanks for being here. Man. I thank you Appreciate very much. Uh, thank you, Mo. Hope you had fun. Uh oh. Good luck sa'yo, nice ha. It's always nice talking to you. Tsaka ano, ha? Ano, mag-experiment tayo, ha? Alam na. <laughs> My God, non. Mag-experiment tayo, ha? Kapag balik mo dito, ako una mong tawagan. O kaya pag ako nang visit dyan, ikaw ang una kong tatawagan. Let's experiment. Okay? And you're the giver, I'm the receiver, yes? Let's see. Let's see! <laughs> <laughs> kung ano-ano, kung anong gagawin. Uh, let's experiment. All right, it's time for uh, Caller of the Night here. This is the person that... I, again, we didn't take a lot of calls today because we got in so many conversation about uh, different things. But um, uh, there is still uh, a winner in uh, tonight's uh, calls. So who is it going to be? Caller of the Night for you, Fu. Who do you like? Hindi ko makakalimutan si Kuya na gustong charbahin lahat ng mga babae sa compound nila. Oh, oh. Si Earl. Really? Uh -oh. You're going to give... A gift to that douchebag. Oh, talaga? <laughs> gift na ibibigay natin sa kanya. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right, fine. Well, you know, it's your choice. <laughs> Earl, you're back. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Dick. Oy, pas <laughs> pasalamatan mo ko, Earl. Oh, that's a... Uh... Yeah, thank yeah. you, Mr. Fu. Oh, diba? In fairness. I'm completely against you being the winner, but, but you know, it's Mr. Fu's call, so welcome back to the show, Earl. And thanks for calling, man. We appreciate it. All right, buddy. You have a chance to win a BlackBerry Z10. We gave one away yesterday. It was in box number three. Could the, the BlackBerry be in box number three again tonight? Let's find out. Pick a number. One, two, or three. Which one do you want? Two. Two. All right. Well, let's see. Could be number two. Uh, Fook, do you mind uh, opening box number two? Let's find out what our caller of the night has won Ayan tonight. Na. Ano ang napanalunan? Ito ang napanalunan niya, wale. Watch. Oh, a Meister watch. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's a big time Oy, watch, man. In fairness, hey. ha? Oh. Yeah, no, that's an expensive watch. Congratulations. Um, Palitan Earl, tayo, ito na lang. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a Meister watch that you can hopefully use also to lure in your cousin so you can have sex with her in your house. Uh, okay? Can make yeah, you can look watch. you can point at the watch and go, Hoy, may five minutes, but I and then she can run in. Okay? Okay. Right, bribe me watch. Mom bribe me watch para oh. That's right. Fu, you are on Ang Latest, which yes. is uh, every night on TV5, except Sundays. Yeah. That's 11.30 p.m., correct? Yes. And you can also check him out on uh, WOW, which is on uh, 103.5, of course, 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. And uh, follow on Twitter, Facebook. I mean, w what are the social media things that people can uh, follow you with? Okay, uh, Twitter, MRFU underscore my ganon. And then uh, fan page, Facebook, star DJ MRFU. Ayan. Ano what else? Yun lang naman. Basically yun. Fantastic. Hey, thank All you, right. Mo. Ha? Basta yung experiment natin. Ako. It is. Sabi ko yeah. sa'yo. And oh. please send my uh, warmest regards to uh, Christy. Oh, ano message mo? Ano message mo kay Christy? Kay Nanay Christy? Oh, wow. I feel like I'm on TV again. Yes. My message. What's your message? Um, hmm. I hope you... <laughs> Felt like Daniel Matsuda. I hope you. I, I I hope you're you're able to make sweet love with all the starlets that you're uh, eyeing on, um, and if you die, I hope to be invited to your funeral. Just want to see you there in the coffin. Kind of want to see what it looks like. Nakakaloka ka talaga. Ay kay Shalala. Nabi na blind item ka. Ano naman ang message mo? Shalala. I'll. <laughs> 
you can come to my house. I'll have uh, dinner for you, and you will see that I am not poor. I, I'm <laughs> struggling, struggling for meals, but definitely not poor. All right, thanks, Charlotte. I miss, I miss Charlotte. He's, he was good. We, we, we had a rocky relationship with 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 the, with everyone actually on the show. I've had this very weird rocky relationship with Christy and Shalala, Rufa as well. But you know, I, I love Rufa and Rufa and you. I know got a huge fight, and Rufa's been on this program okay, what, three, four okay, times. Okay, <laughs> right, we should, but she's been on here several times. Oh. I think we were talking about you last time she was here uh, some weeks back. Oh, it. It. And I think. Oh, <laughs> you know, you know, she, I think Medra, I, uh, you know, the thing with Rufa, I think at times. She's more of spur of the moment kind of girl. Uh-huh. If if she gets offended at that moment, it's a very big deal. Mm. Um, and then it kind of just settles down with her, and then she's okay. Mm. I mean, again, in, in the many times that I've fought with Rufa, it's always because of something very small. But she's probably not in the mood to expect it, and then it to become a very big deal. I mean, in the end, she is Annabelle's daughter, so there <laughs> is some sort of like, you know, she could probably take a page from what goes on there, but. But eventually she, you know, she settles down and then, you know, things generally work out for the best with Rufa. So I'm glad that you guys are friends again. Oh, okay na kami, okay na kami. <laughs> Nagya ka pa na kami. Nagya ka pa na kami. <laughs> yeah, you, you right below her boob. She's so tall. <laughs> oh, oh. She's Pero pag tayo nagya ka pa, abot. <laughs> That's right. Baka matamaan pa yung titi natin. Excuse me, excuse me. I love it. Oh, oh, go. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Oh. <laughs> All right, Pooh. Have a good one, man. Thanks for being thank here. You, Appreciate thank it you, thank you, Mo. So Salamat. Thank All right. you. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for it. We'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. We're at God. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media E. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com.